Alrighty, 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 alrighty. <laughs> what's up, fellas? What's up, what's up? Let me get everything. My battle station ready. Woo! Alrighty, fellas. Good morning, good morning. How are we feeling today? How are we doing? What's today? What is it? A Tuesday? It's a Tuesday, March 12th. Now, I know I said just yesterday that I was going to start each stream by listing Pokemon for, for an hour. Uh, my brain is too melted <laughs> to do that today. I've been working on some voice recording. So, we're going to go ahead and just jump into XP training. Goals for today, I'm not going to be collecting this yet. I have like 10 pages of Pokemon listed. I'm going to keep building this up. We're going to keep listing Pokemon over and over again. Eventually, I'll go to collect it. But for now, we're going to focus on... We have a Blastoise, a Togetic, aka hopefully soon Togekiss and a high dragon to get to level 100. And then the gym rerun team, the advanced gym rerun team will be complete and ready for learning the route. And then I'll have to iron out the route and then I'll have to actually pop it on charms. It'll, it's still a long way from actually making a guide on it eventually. I'll have to do many, 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 many runs before I feel comfortable doing so. But we're making really good progress. Uh, so let's go ahead and I think we can just go ahead and start XP training. Uh, I'm sitting at 43,552 encounters and we're gonna be doing a lot of hordes today. So possible shiny soon we'll have to see Woo! what else do i have like i have something else to talk about actually one more thing i do want to go ahead and list one of these i have a bunch of 2012 chances that i've been sitting on for quite a while uh, and i do think they'll go up in price over time but i do want to quickly list one or two of them for around 4998 because there was one there's only one on the market and if there's only one on the market i'm pretty comfortable listing two of them for uh, just under that price. Two of them, if, if I have two out of three of the Chanseys on the 2012 market, I'm pretty happy with that. So let's go ahead and sort Chansey 2012, lowest price, as you can see, just barely, you know, undercutting the one drop by one Poke in, you know. People can pick whatever they want. They might want the modest one, honestly, careful, adamant, whatever. And then let's check out the 2012 market. I just love checking this market every single day, as usual. A Flareon for 800K. Honestly, that's, what's the Eevee? Let's check other Flareons. I haven't really put much time into evolutions <laughs> that's hilariously overpriced obviously uh, but that's pretty it's a pretty interesting one evolutions honestly all right okay let me say good morning to everybody in chat really quick what's up fellas how are we doing? Shamo, good morning. Prince Jewel, good morning. Abigail, Clarko, Void. I did I'm sorry for being so late today. Duck, good morning. Shag, good morning. Puddleopes, good morning. Not I, but what's up, dude? Nod, Maho, Phoenix, good morning. Zino, good morning. Mickman, good morning. Vlogger, the boy. Alpha, good morning to you, dude. Uh, Poke Kid, what's up? Melvizzi, Rumel, Tom, Mishu, Vincer. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Vincer, good morning. Uh, Beats, good morning. Remaru, the great. Happy to see you, dude. Oceans, good morning, good morning. Prof Boop. What's up? Maybe Billy. Happy to see you, dude. Claude, what's up? Good morning, good morning. Do, 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 do. Uh, Tepag, man. Tepage, what's up, dude? Good morning. Jay Kufu, good morning. Question, good morning. Admiral, good morning. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Poke Kid, Squid, I appreciate it. Hopefully, the content's been helpful enough or deserving or, you know, entertaining enough to deserve that. Uh, Tino, good morning. Brandon, good morning. Vespid, good morning. Damod, good morning. Good morning, everybody. All right. We got the good mornings up and at them. Ready to go. All right. Does anybody want XP charm? It's it's like it's really not that much of a bonus. Uh, but is anybody in chat XP training? I'm probably going to pop. I probably am just going to pop a 50% charm today. I will say. Uh, if people want to join the link, uh, feel free to let me know in chat. Let me know your IGN. Uh, it's only a 10% XP bonus. So it's really not that drastic. But if you're XP training anyway, honestly, might as well. That's Mew today. What's up, Ace? It's been my place. It's my morning, Bach. That's how, you know, time zones are a thing. That's good. You know, if it's not your morning, that's totally okay. But it's morning. It's gamer morning. That's true. 2 a.m. here, but hi. Yo, good morning. Good morning. It could be morning no matter what. Mike muted. <laughs> More like your mom is muted after. Shut up, Tom. Uh, Gamba. Yes. Yes, we should start again. I'll do a 30... Actually, I'll start a Gamba now. What I'll do is I'll start a Gamba now and I'll give you 30 minutes to vote. Because uh, not not everybody's here yet. You know, street, viewers have to flood in. 
at the beginning of the stream or whatever. Uh, so we'll give people more time to come in, but what's up, Byron? Win wedding stream rage emoji, probably on the wedding date. I think someone asked me in the comments or whatever recently, like, hey, man, uh, I'm talking about like, you got engaged recently. What, what happened? What happened with the wedding? And I was like, dude, I've been engaged for three. Usually people are engaged for like one to two years. We're having an extremely quick engagement um, of only like six. We're only going to be engaged for like six months. Um, which is like really insane. Like most, of, yeah, I don't know. It's funny to see someone like, oh, dude, like, where's the wedding? What do you mean? What? And it's like, dude, usually engagements last like a year to two years. We're gonna be engaged for a very short amount of time. It's six months. We so we we had to, we had to pre-plan the wedding before we got engaged to even have that happen. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and yo, let me turn my whispers on, but I can invite people via that. Do 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 do. Here, whisper me for the for the if you want XP charm. Wedding stream ran at one to five FPS. Yeah, be real. Bachelor party stream. I no shot. I'm streaming that. No way, dude. I'm okay. I am unhinged on stream, but chill. Uh, if you want XP charm, you can whisper me in game. Any event going on? What kind of event do you mean? Holiday event, catch event, tournament, PvP. What are you looking for? Uh, Cynthia is hard. That is true. That's fair. Yeah, and that's, that's, it's, you know, it just happens, Alpha. Yeah. What's up, Tino? I see you in game, dude. Love the fit. Uh, best way to farm money. If you Google, like, best money making method in Pokemon, money making method Pokemon, those, those, there's a bunch of videos that'll give you better answers than on stream. Um, it also, it wildly depends on, like, what stage of the account you're in. Um, that's, it's like, uh, it's like if someone were to ask me, hey, how do I make money IRL, right? And it's like, okay, well, do you have a college degree? Do you have a high school degree? Did you have a trade? What skills do you have? How old are you? Like, I, I can't answer that question without understanding entirely who you are. Um, no fucking, no fucking way, JW. Wait, did you get this recently? No shot. Wait, when did you get shiny Aerodactyl? You're a madman. Dude, you have some of the best fucking shinies, JW. It looks awesome. The blue wings, the tail glitch on it. Wow. Um, nice name. That is crazy. This morning you got it? Dude, what? Did you like rebreed it over at how how did this happen? Did you rebreed it at um Mount Moon? Or what was the that's that's to have that to have that location as well as obviously an IV? Yeah, I rebred. Gotcha. Dude, that's beautiful. The blue, I don't realize how dark, how drastic the blue wings are on it, on the shiny. That's a super good shiny, dude. That's incredible, JW. Congratulations, dude. A PvP video? Fuck. What I caught on these, check time caught. We got all these, like, people catching multiple shinies back to back. Okay, the Amoongus. Um, oh my god, 14 minutes apart. That's fucking impressive, dude. Wait, these were caught today? Dude, you're a madman. What? These were caught today, 14 minutes apart. What is with all my viewers getting insane turbo good shiny? They're fucking skill dap to the moon, dude. The best shiny hunters in the game. True and real. That's fucking impressive, dude. Uh, yeah, I pulled them out, Persistence. Invite to Link. Uh, Tino, you're set to automatically, automatically decline Link requests. Yeah, that's so... It was ra first encounter after randomly? What the fuck? That's crazy. Oh, uh, you can redeem price check now, Clarko. And just was... Yeah, that's like, that's like we're going to do now. Whisper me in-game. I'm super down to do that, Clarko. Good call, good call. Good idea. Skill issue? Dude, it really is. Do -do -do. Whenever you're unbusy, Tino, I'll try to invite you. I need, I need one more person for XP charm. If people, you know, I'll probably just pop it in a sec. Please, yes, you can. I appreciate it. I appreciate you coming just to whisper me and stuff. Okay. We got a price check request from Clarko. Okay, we have a price check request from Clarko. Let's check it out. We got a Pikachu male, Alpha Pikachu male. What is this? Blackhorn is hatched. Bread, four times thirty, two times thirty-one. Nature is irrelevant here. Let's check it out on the GTL. Let's see what we can find. First things first. I have no idea how desired Alpha Pikachu is. That's why I would go ahead and check. I don't think it has like 
that relevant of a hidden ability. I mean, it's not bad lightning rod. It's not like, what's the other hidden, what's the other ability it has? Static. Static is probably better, but maybe certain doubles things or certain interactions will want lightning rod. So 65k is the cheapest. It's not like, it's not crazy cheap, but it's probably also not worth considering. I would probably sell this as, probably sell this as egg group or someone use it like a, as like a, it's so over, it's so overkill for like a PV, like a sweet center though, like a horde killer. The IVs are so overkill for it. What I would do here, it's, it's field egg group, right? Field fairy. That's important. I would just price check this as a, as a breeder, honestly, personally. Um, 31, 31, and then you want to start 25 plus across and everything. Ignore the attack. Only one attack is going to matter. You could prioritize the physical attack here. Uh, we'll do male. We'll even, we'll buff. This is way not accurate. So let's just, this seems underpriced. This Widley tough. Oh, is it really though? I almost want to flip this. I'll flip it, but we'll try. We'll try at least. It has an egg move pad. It does have Vault Tackle, so maybe you do try to sell it as a Pikachu. The issue is if you sell it as a Pikachu... Okay, if you want to sell it as a Pikachu, let's price check it in both ways, is what we'll do. If you want to sell it as a Pikachu, you would do this. Maybe you do sell it as a Pikachu. But the nature is irrelevant, so like you have to re... How do you sell this as a Pikachu with the nature being irrelevant to where you have to... Like, it's this is fucked, is the issue. You, you can't... It doesn't matter. The edge move is irrelevant because the nature is bad. Um... Yeah, this is a, this is why like price checks are important because you run into really awkward situations as a Pikachu breeder or something. That's just so specific. Trying to find someone who's trying to breed an Alpha Pikachu who doesn't already have the egg move on it, it's gonna be so 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 specific. And it's gonna be way overpriced for someone doing that. This is a really really awkward one. You, whenever you breed a Pokemon, you have to understand what you're breeding it for and why you're breeding it. Whenever you want to breed any Pokemon for profit, you have to understand what you're breeding it for and why you're breeding it. Because otherwise you'll end up in situations like this where kind of like it doesn't really have a purpose. And it's kind of like in the in-between. And then it becomes less valuable if you don't have a designated goal for your Pokemon you're breeding. Like designated goals could be, oh, you could have bred this specifically to be a Pikachu breeder. But that's not a good idea because it's just too slim of a of a pool of, of too slim of demand. Uh, you could breed it as a specifically like fairy egg group breeder. Uh, you could breed it as a Pikachu comp. Like those are the couple options, but... This is kind of awkward to price check. No, dude, Clarko. I mean, this, sorry, I don't mean it. You're perfect, Clark. I love you so much, but I definitely think this is. I, I respect the price check request. This is an awkward. This is an awkward one to price check. It makes total sense. Um, like, fuck. I have to. I, I'm like actually so stuck on this. Let me think. So, you're so pretty. Yeah, real. Um, I will try to give you two different, I think giving, I think for a price check like this, I will, I like to give two different answers. I'll give you what you could sell it for as a Pikachu and then what you could sell it for as a breeder and then choose which one you want to list it for. Um, like as a Pikachu. Okay. Hmm. As a Pikachu, with these stats, do I rebreed for nature? The issue is finding a breeder is going to be so hard. Like, you have to find a female Pikachu with nature. I, I, I don't think it's worth... I think you just sell this and start from scratch or, like, do something. Or just keep it in... You can just keep it and use it as a discharge sweet center. That's totally fine. Um, but if, if I, in my opinion, if I were to sell this as a Pikachu, I would sell it somewhere between the 350 to 450k range. Somewhere between... You can pick from there... But I would go 350 to 450k. That's my sell as a Pikachu recommendation. Now, let's try to check it as an egg group. And, like, neither of these is wrong. And it's not, like... It, it, in this situation, higher sell amount doesn't always equal, like, oh, that's the better option. Because it's a mixture of how much money are you going to make from it, and then how long is it going to sit for you to sell it. If you try to sell this as a Pikachu, it's going to sit for quite a while, in my opinion. But maybe the Pikachu demand is more than I realize. I mean, there is a Pikachu demand, but it, the hidden ability is not, and alpha is not relevant. So if someone wants, like, a sweet scent discharge Pikachu, like, that's good, but why do you need the it to be alpha, right? Like, you just, that's not, it's just not needed. Um, so, if you were to sell it as a breeder, let's try something like this. 250k for this like in comparison oh uh, man let's do yeah we're in fairy this is a ditto 
field is horrible. We go by fairy for sure. Sorry, I'm I'm just like delaying stream because of this, but it's a, it's actually like a really interesting, complicated price check. Okay. I take long. I also t I take longer on like if I were to price it for my, this for myself, I would just fucking list it off. But it, but if, if I'm pricing for someone else, I want to take it more seriously. I would end up if you were to sell this as a breeder, I would probably end up selling this for around two hundred and. 20 to 250k but the issue is when you have this widly tough that's four times 31 for 250k and this as a ditto for it's just you can't ever sell this for 250k or around that price with these on the market which really sucks um i would probably go like 220k on this it, which it sucks as a breeder i would sell this for 220k and as a pikachu i would sell it for like 400k that's my final numbers best of luck to you selling um, my best advice is just you know learn from it in the future um whenever you want to breed anything keep in mind you should know at the very beginning of a breed why am i breeding this what do i want it for am i going to keep it for myself as some sort of utility or pvm pokemon or what pvp whatever am i going to create it as a breeder for someone else to use to create their pokemon make it male whatever or am i going to breed it specifically as a pikachu so therefore i want vault tackle therefore i want that i need the correct nature um yeah with the, with the final role like that's just create your purpose or define your purpose when you start a breed um uh, hey pat is it worth waiting to just level uh is it worth to wait to level pokemon to level 100 until i finish the pokedex to wait until you have access to like the johto position like this mount silver spot it depends i mean it depends on what you need them for um if you need like level 100 typhlosions for jimmy runs definitely just go do that battle frontier 10 it's fine like it's it's mostly fine this spot is like really good and way better but it's also you need level 100 it's like waiting to complete pokedex is just so long just to be able to level pokemon to level 100 um, I would probably go for some level 100s first, at least a Jimmy Run team, like certain Pokemon, like especially utility Pokemon, like Brelooms and Meowths. I would say you absolutely need a few utility level 100s before you access this zone, but obviously accessing this zone is super helpful because it lets you level way faster. You got to turn XP Charm? Yes, I did. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm sure to pop a 50% today because I don't need that much more XP. Um, obviously, I need... The biggest gap is 81 to 100 on the Blastoise. I might even pop some rare candies. I have a bunch of tradable rare candies that I'm sitting on as a short-ish term investment, and then a bare amount of untradable. You get a lot of untradable, more than you would expect, a lot of untradable um, rare candies. Let's actually go ahead and check. Let's see how many you actually get. It's quite a bit. I have 19. I have 19 untradable rare candies that I just haven't used from the storyline. That's pretty solid. Uh, yeah, these have been around since Johto, Bob. Uh, Mount Silver, I I would probably guess Island 7 Tenetral Horde is better than Route 12 Unova, but I could be wrong, but that's a pretty good list, Alpha. Not to, not to, um, actually, I think that Tenetral, it's Island 7, um, I think it's a pretty good list. Uh, question, why does everybody use Typhlosion for gym runs? Because it's just really good, really fast, and really easy to get. It's just efficient, is the really the short, you know, TLDR. Uh, battle, can you click battle mode so we can see how much XP per kill? Uh, let, no, what, what I can do is... Here, a better way to do this... It's not really going to be that great. You have to do a shit ton of math. Because it's not going to really accurately show... Because you have to do a shit ton of math. Like, add up all these numbers. And then also assume that that's half the XP. Let me... um. What would be easier... Oh, he's popping a shiny charm. What the fuck, Tino? I appreciate that. What would be easier is if once I get all of my pokemon leveled except for one that will be an easier way to show how much xp you get here but also keep in mind i'm getting more xp due to like three different factors dude i'm getting more xp because of re xp reamplifier i'm getting more xp because of xp charm and i'm getting more xp because of donor status so it's gonna fuck up a lot of math it's gonna be really complicated uh is it the same xp from rapid Ash? I, th I would assume tentacles more but i totally could be wrong alpha so i would assume tentacles more Do, 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 do. 
Uh, hey, Pat, do you think an Umbreon or an Espeon would be a better breed to sell? I looked up both on PvP stats, and they both have a good win rate in their tiers. I would guess... Off the top of my head, I would guess Espeon. Um, but let's... And I'll explain why, but let's check. Let's see. Espeon's an OU Pokemon, right? OU Pokemon, 7% usage. You can even check the, like, exact amount of games. So 24,000 games, right? Is that the amount of games Espeon... Or is it, let's see... Yeah, right? That's the amount of games Espeon's been played in. 24,000. Now, let's go to Umbreon. And you, it's a UU Pokemon, right? It's only been played in 10,000 games. So, you can tell, like, obviously, even if they're... Also, the win rate here is really bad. Um, even if they both have similar usages in their tiers, like, Umbreon's 6% usage, Espeon's 7%. That's not that... That's, you know, that may not immediately mean that Espeon's more desired. However, look at the games played. You know, 24,000 games compared to 10,000 games is a huge difference. So, his OU is played way more than UU. Um, so, yeah, Espeon's definitely the better one to breed. Going to be more, way more demand for it. Um, however, Espeon, you need more stats. It's a more complicated breed. You need hidden ability access. If you are breeding an Espeon, you need hidden ability access, okay? If you make a Espeon without hidden ability access, it's useless. The only reason Espeon is good is because of its ability, magic balance, being able to bounce back uh, stealth rocks and stuff like that. It's it's the most uh, most powerful uh, magic balance user in Pokemon. It's so important. So it has an extreme niche slash need in the in the game. Third shiny this month? Uh, in the last 12 days or so? Or like in the past? Even, even, even if it's last 12 days, even if it's just March or the last 30 days, that's unbelievably impressive, dude. Nice job. How do you access PvP stats? Uh, no, that's a totally fair question. Click the PvP ball. Click PvP stats. That's it. Dude, you gotta fucking learn somehow. You're, like, you're, you're, it's totally, totally a fine question. You have to, yeah. Hidden ability Alakazam? I'd be happy to see it. It would move out of venue. Best region to start? If you Google best region Pokemo, I have an in-depth video that talks about it, dude. I do, I do really, really appreciate, and I really do ask. The one thing I ask of my chat is to please uh, Google any questions before asking me, because I've spent a lot of time making videos. You know, I try to make videos answering every topic. If I make, if I spend my life <laughs> making YouTube videos, it sounds very funny, but if I spend my lifetime making YouTube videos to answer Pokemon questions, and then when I stream, people come in and ask those same questions that I spent all the time making videos for, what was the point of making the videos, you know? What was the, what a waste of time, right? That would stink. If you don't just, you know, it's like um, if an author spends his life writing a shit ton of books and then everybody like goes to a book convention and like asks him like, hey, how do I how do I make my first million dollars? And he's like, I literally have a book titled that <laughs> like, just go read it. You know, that's um, yeah, isn't Twitch chat the Google search bar? It's pretty close. It's pretty close. Um, fair. I would love to see any 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 and all buffs for Volbeat and Illumini. <laughs> Illumis? Illuminize? Yeah. Illumize. Uh yeah, like yeah, it, exactly. Dirt dirt get, yeah. Uh you might be able to find something on that. Yeah, great uh, great question. It's a good meme. I love the meme of people who are like, hey man, like do you do you happen to have like, I don't know, like some tips and tricks for new players? Maybe like 63 of them perhaps. And I'm like, oh man, don't I have the perfect video for you? Um Hey Pat, I've been going after a shiny Hitmonlee and was wondering if it's worth to level each of the Tyroids to 20 to breed it again or just sell them. It's a tough question. Uh, Lucario has a similar problem where you have to evolve it to be able to breed it again. And it really comes down to like what you prefer and what you want to do. There's not, I don't really know if, I don't know of a concrete answer of whether it's worth or not. I actually don't know. I'd have to like run the math and test it. Um, but I think, I think different egg hunters do different things. So maybe it's up for preference. Um, going for the Tyrode line at all is a really tough shunt, and I really admire you for going for it, Parnell. Um, I don't really have a great answer to tell you, but I would say best of luck. I would just test both and get back to me if you have a if you have a concrete solution you come to, honestly. How do I un yeah, how do I unsubscribe your good meme? That's 64th tip. There's just not another one. That's all I could come up with. <clears throat> Time versus money. Yeah, I think I think it does probably come down to that. Uh, yeah, Mold Breaker breaks through Sturdy, which is awesome. Uh, how do you deal with all the hate that comes? You try to just... I, I personally, dude, I try to just barrel past it. Um, if you told me... If you told me three years ago... Um, that you would get a fair amount of hate for making videos... For making mostly guide content as well. 
uh, and videos surrounding a fan-made Pokemon game, I would have said surely, you know, at a small, very small size as well, I would say surely the hate isn't that bad. Um, but it's pretty, it's it's a rough time to be on the internet. People are just more negative than ever. It's really sad. Um, specifically online, for sure. Um, yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. It's a great video. It's a fun one, TJ. I was surprised. I honestly, that was one of those videos where I was like, you know what? This is kind of going to be like a semi throwaway video. Like it's just going to be like my plan for that video. What's the best Pokemon you can make for 60K or 50K or whatever was like, I want this video to be like, you know, entertainment for the day. It's kind of whatever, whatever. And people, I got way more views than I expected. Not that I did like really well or anything, but yeah. I need your help. What's up, man? Just ask the question. How do I go to four Island and Pokemon? If you Google like how to access four Island Pokemon Fire Red, you'll just find your answers there, man. Um, all the storylines in Pokemon and all that stuff is the same as the traditional games. And there is how many 20 years of online videos and guides for like Pokemon Fire Red storyline. So you should be able to find that instead of searching how to get to four Island Pokemon, just look up Fire Red and it should be the same. So I don't remember off the top of my head. I know you have to do some sort of like little quest line, but I'm not, I'm the worst person to ask for storyline help, unfortunately, because I, I don't do them very much, you know? I did the storylines once on each of my accounts or whatever, and then I move on, right? Um, does it work for PvP? I mean, does it work? No, but is it kind of based and funny? Yes, I respect it. A lot of doubters in the Gamba today. Make sure to gamble if you have it, if you want to, obviously. It's gambling your little fake points for, for fun, for the risk. Yeah, sorry I can't help you more directly, um, the Lemmy man. Good luck to you, dude. Opinion on buying the Battle Axe Cosmetic as an investment? I think it's fucking great. Yeah, opinion on buying the Battle Axe item as a, a vanity as a, co as a, hello? Buying the Battle Axe Cosmetic as an investment? I think it's fantastic. I think it's a great looking vanity. Uh, I mean, I, I'm sh I feel like it has to do well. Most limited vanities just do well over time. It really comes down to how fast it will increase and at what rate and like how much it'll reach and like when's the bottom out price. Um, there's a lot. The thing with Battle Axe is there's an insane supply. The supply is really, really high for this. It's a semi-common to like uncommon vanity. The supply is really, really, really high. Will this vanity spike to 500k overnight? I, I don't think so. Like pretty much never ever. The supply is way too high. Will it slowly rise consistently over the next two years or so? I would say pretty, pretty positive. Obviously, I've never... No investment is like 100%, but I would say probably. Yeah, right? Probably. Is it worth to invest 100k in the sword line? I hate playing and I want it done ASAP. 100k. I would say that's about the max that I'd recommend putting in, but I think that's maybe fine. I think 100k is kind of fine. I'd say that's about the max you want to put in. I, I would try not to spend over 100k on a storyline, but that's, that's, you know, I get it. I hate storylines too. And if you know you're a grinder, you know, you can get to the, get, get them done and actually make Pokey that Pokey in back way faster and easier for a lot of people. Um, I have a couple videos that answer that question. Jimmy Run Team is, is, is a great, building the beginner Jimmy Run Team is a great go-to, uh, SF. But I have a couple videos that answer that question, SF. If you Google, I can link some of them to you as well. Um, if you Google top five post-game goals for Pokemon, that'll be your first foundation. And then there's also top 10 end-game goals for Pokemon. And there's also 63 things to do in Pokemon. So those three videos in that order are going to be are kind of the... Uh, those, I think, those three videos help players progress into the midder to end-game, mid-game lull. Um, yeah, I'd recommend those three videos. Shiny Pidgey? Nothing crazy? No, but dude, that's awesome. Yeah. Yo, that's fun as well, Manson. That's awesome, dude. Congratulations, dude. Imagine this video like every stream. 63 things to do is probably like my most imp like unironically. It doesn't have that many views compared to other videos or certain other ones. Um, but it does fine, but like it's probably like one of the most it's probably the most important video on my channel. Like, I, I believe that 63 things to do. Videos like this are what let the game succeed. Um, if players don't have goals, if players get bored, if players run out of things to do, they don't play the game. It's it's the it's the most common way that players get burnt out of Pokemon is not setting goals and not having things to do. Um, which is I've been there. I get it, right? Um, 
and helping players helping players set goals is the most important thing you can do for player retention in my opinion um we didn't actually redeem a okay okay right okay Whew. no british accent so far uh, no, you, I didn't. I didn't take it. That, sorry, I was just answering. I like to. I answer stuff like that seriously, Claude. But I didn't take it like that at all. You're totally. And also, if it was, it's fine. Um, you see, Bud catches net going to 500k ever. I mean, yeah, ever. Yeah, of course. Over time, guys, any limited vanity should just go up. Like that's kind of how it works. Ever, absolutely. But the question is like when. Um, I think what's Bud catcher net at now? I think it's another good vanity. The issue is it has a lot of competition. Um, I don't see it reaching 500k for like. A long long time i could see it reaching like 250 within the next one to three years oh that's actually so sad ouch i'm sorry to hear that man rest in peace to your shiny jinx <laughs> what's up joko stun sport abrellum uh i mean if you don't have spore yet it's probably fine as like a temporary it's a temporary move you put on abrellum not permanent Trader runs are underrated. I would like to do a video on that. 100%. 100%, dude. Um, Six shinies have a full shiny team. Great goal. I love that goal. Good luck to you, man. Ugh, that's sad, Choco. Sorry to hear car battery die. That sucks, man. There is level 100 on High Dragon. That is kind of cool to see. Nice. I didn't use any rare I kind of forgot. You know what I might do? I'm going to go ahead and do this. I have so many untradeable rare candies. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. I, I have, I'm going to have leftover XP charm, but that's totally fine. I'm going to go ahead and just rare candy my to Togetic twice. Put it up to level 100. There it is. Level 100. And now I'm going to go ahead and use Shiny Stone, which are dirt cheap. Turn it into a Togekiss, and that's going to complete five out of six of our Pokemon. Then we'll only have Blastoise left. Are Legendary Lores worth it? Financially, no. Um, they're horrible financially. Um, they're fun, but they're a huge waste of money. I don't recommend them. Like Unless you unless you want to piss away Pokeyen for the fun of it, fair enough. But they're really financially not worth it. I think the basic or easy Jimmy runs are pretty easy um, and pretty simple, but I mean, probably still fair, Kyle's. Scam lores. Yeah, premium lores and legendary lores are really overpriced for the effect. The effect is good. It's just really expensive. All right, here I am putting them away and now, okay, all level 100. Nice to see. Now I can actually see um, what will be cool here is I can go ahead and see how much XP I'm getting really much more easily per, per horde. So let's actually go ahead and see on a 50% XP charm with XP reamplifier with Dunder status, all of these things increase the XP. Let's see how much XP it'll be half. The XP that goes to Blastoise will be half of the total XP I'm getting. So let's bring up our calculator really quick. Let's do, it seems like five, one, nine, four base XP plus two, five, nine, nine from XP charm plus 350 from the amplifier, plus 1300 from dinner status. So this is half the XP. So I'm gaining, holy shit, 18,800 XP per horde if I were to be using a non-level 100. But to be fair, this spot doesn't really allow for that. So with all of these booths, I'm getting around 9,000 XP per horde on my Blastoise, which is just so powerful. It's so fast. It's so good, dude. This spot is so sick. And even better, I don't want to speak too soon, okay? But even better, we dodged a shiny from this location. We were able to go so many single encounters, do like 2,000 hordes, and not get a shiny, which I've maybe never been able to do. So hopefully, we can go single encounter shiny hunt today after this. I'm not going to be running the gym run today. I'm just going to be like going to shiny hunt. And hopefully, we can actually like maybe get a single encounter shiny. That would be incredible. Uh, I don't, I don't, that seems insanely high, fellas. I don't think so, but I think it gives, um, 25% of share on the active Pokemon. Oh, yeah, 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 I see what you're saying. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying, fellas. So you're right, 25% of the XP is shared among the active Pokemon, and the rest is split amongst the party. So it's actually 75%. Okay, you're totally right, actually. So what you, was, you, you would take that 90, was it 9,000 something? We'll just say 9,400. It was something like that. And you would times that by 0.25, right? And then add that to the plus 9,400. So it ends up being 11,750 XP per horde with, with um... 50% charm. You can do more XP with the with 100% charm. I think it does reach that like 18k marker around that. So keep that in mind. But this is, yeah, still really good on just 50% charm, which is way cheaper. Good call. What's up, vlogger? Hey, boy, listen. Not a very good way to start a conversation with someone. Not very respectful, but okay. What's up? What's up? Uh, do you stream Fridays? No, I stream uh, Monday through Thursday. Should be... I think stream schedule is... I'll say it at the end of every video and every stream, uh, and it's posted below my YouTube description. But I don't think I don't think it's in my Twitch description, so that's fair. Yeah, blasters surf themselves. They use a. Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, no, it cannot because of sturdy. You have to have. You have. This spot is very specific. You have to use a. Uh, normally, like any other spot, you're totally right. Um, but for this spot, you have to use a mold breaker Pokemon, which is why I'm using special attack in Rampardos. What's up, vlogger? How can I help you, dude? What's up? What's up, man? Four badges the fastest? Um, I don't have a, I would like to do a guide on that, unironically. Perks? Um, that'd be fun to do. It's, I, don't, I don't have one yet. I mean, really, it, dep it obviously depends on what region you're in. Um, that would be a fun one to do. If you had to pick one Pokemon, what would be the next Mon you egg for? Probably Audino, Cherubi... Audino, Cherubi, Porygon? One of those three? Spirit I have so many eggs that I want to do. I don't know, man. Yes, 100% 100%, Danny. 100%. Uh, I have multiple videos. If you if you look, I've if you Google that question, nobody. I've I have videos on that topic, man. I really do appreciate, guys. Please Google any question before asking me in stream. If you Google it and then you didn't find it, feel free to ask. But at least Google your questions before asking me, please. Um, dude, you, you got a shiny Nereno. Dude, fucking let's go. Uh, Eraz, shiny Nereno is so sick, man. Adino's tough, dude. Uh, bro, you can check your video videos. I all I always comment you. I, what's up, man? I I appreciate it, dude. What's what's up, dude? Adino Cherubi, dude. I Adino's a great shiny, and Cherubi's quite cool. I actually was muted. Sorry, I need to talk to I needed to talk to Casey for a sec. She had a work thing happen. Okay, what did I what did I miss? What's up, Cody? Happy to see you, dude. I want you to predict my next shiny. I'm 4K dry. Um, 28K. Okay, reasonable. Good luck to you, dude. Shut up, Alpha. Silent. Yeah, I got, I got mad at chat, so I was giving you guys the silent treatment. Uh, someone asked, can I add you? Can I send you a friend request? I've I don't know what's happened. I've received this. I think I've actually been asked this like six times in the past two days. I love you all very much, and I really appreciate you all. I cannot add you in-game. I'm very sorry. The friends list in Pokemo is very small. Um, I used to add everybody who asked, and my friends list became full at 600 subscribers. I, I, I just I can't add everybody. I'm sorry. Um, I've had that question a lot recently. So I, I don't know. Yeah. Add me, Pat. Yeah, I, I just can't. He lie. hates it. Yeah, that's what it is. True. Dude, I love Avens. Mod packs. 
Yo, what's up, DK? What did you have for breakfast today? I had a cookies and cream protein shake, a Pepsi Max, a Mountain Dew Zero, and a Monster Energy Zero. Breakfast. Yum. What's up, James? Shut up. I don't hate you, goofball. He blocked me on all accounts and told me hate him. <laughs> okay, chill. Friends list expansion item? Okay, they're making us pay for an expansion item for it would suck. Hopefully that's not the case. No way you had that? Not all at once, but that was my breakfast. Why zero such sugar free drinks? It's way worse. Uh, a lot of people, I'm sorry, a lot of people always try to say this scientifically, statistically, and by every study, you are wrong. There's a lot of people who like, I guess, drink um, non-zero and non-whatever sodas, and they try to cope into the fact that diet sodas or whatever are just as bad. By every scientific measure, you're totally wrong. Um, diet sodas are totally mostly fine. Um, the main downside that I've seen from diet sodas by all science and by all statistics is that they do give you that sugar craving the same way that sugar does. Um, if they taste worse, that's fair. I think they taste better. I like the, uh, water is better. Yeah, it, it's, it's the same thing as, okay. If you saw someone smoking a cigar, would you say, hey, why are you doing that? You shouldn't smoke. Smoking nothing is better, right? If you saw someone eating a cheeseburger, would you slap it out of their hands and say, hey, man, you should eat a salad instead. Humans don't live their life to these logically most incredibly optimal ways. It's first of all, it's not happiness. Secondly, it's cr don't don't ever do not be that person who hyper critiques other people like this because it shows a lot of projection and unhappiness. Not that it, and no one's in chat in, in my chat is doing this. I'm like I'm totally using this as a way to talk about something else. Um, but it it is a thing where like people don't don't ever give un, unasked for advice. It's one of the most frustrating, annoying things. Um, everybody knows. Yeah, most most science or whatever, or most things behind it, for the most part. Um, at least I, I, I like to assume that. Maybe I'm cope. Um, slash other people's hands. Yeah, I don't know. Um, which flavor? Um, for the it's just, for the Monster Zero, it's the like. I don't find this flavor very often. Um, this is the monster and like the original green monster, like the original flavor, but zero sugar, which is why I, like, I love that shit. Um, it's kind of hard to find. Dude, I would love that shit. For Cherim and Cast Form, yeah. Yeah, well, obviously, wa I, I, I do, like, water's awesome. Like, one of the best, one of the quickest ways you can improve your health in a drastic amount of ways is just cut out every drink except for water. It's super good. Um, but humans like little treats. That's, you know, how we operate. Bro, are you forgot me? What <laughs> What's up, dude? How can I help you, Golu? Monster Java. I don't like coffee. I feel like if I liked coffee, I would love so many coffee flavored things, dude. Got like coffee ice cream is one of those things that even I I hate the taste of coffee, right? Even I taste coffee ice cream and I'm like, oh, this is so good. I got 500k, so can I get any shiny? I don't know what you mean by that question. Like 500k Potien vlogger? What do you mean? Um, I'm not a huge fan of coffee, but it's so good, dude. Raw dog is shiny, such an insane but awesome phrase. Only drink water, based. I respect it. You read my comment, I can't believe it. I, I try to read every comment possible. There's, in stream chat, there's just a lot of people. So I, I just, it's literally, like, it's just, I'm not going to be able to reach or read every single stream comment that goes by. I try really hard. I really do. Um... Yeah, maybe, to be fair, I was like, it, yes, that's probably fair, Omar, but that's, and that's, once again, coffee's, or fucking ice cream's just good, because it's, yeah, it's delicious sugar. So ice cream's probably one of the best fucking desserts, man. What's the satellite on the left doing? Great question. That is XP Reamplifier, which is essentially just XP all. Um, Pat won't read this, shut up. Um, which is essentially just XP all. Um, and I do think it's, it's, it's a really helpful super endgame item, but I don't, I don't recommend picking it up until you really do have, like, the free flowing cash to be able to just pick it it's not that powerful to where it should be like rushed i think but i could be wrong um shut up cody cheesecake to, you prefer cheesecake to ice cream i respect cheesecake but 
I think as I get older, I like cheesesteak more and more. Cheesesteak factory is fucking bomb. I'll say it. Um, 500k Pokian. I don't think you can get any shiny for 500k Pokian. I mean, you could, you could, you could hunt, dude. Sh most shunting is free. Like you could hunt for, uh, or like very cheap. Like if you pay 20k for a PP max and a sweet Zen Pokemon, you could just, you know, shunt for free next to a PC. And just it just takes time and, and effort. Um, doo -doo -doo. best bean related breakfast. Ground up beans. What does that entail? Pistachio ice cream is bomb. Absolutely. What is cheesecake? Wait, wait look up, uh, I guess Google cheesecake. Look up, yeah, cheesecake. What, cheesecake factory? Cheesecake factory is bomb. I don't like plain cheesecake. I definitely want some, like, flavor, like, fruity flavor, or, like, uh, like, or the Oreo cheesecake from Cheesecake Factory is super good. Strawberry ice cream. Dude, ice cream cake is stupidly good, for sure. What I'm just part is holding, just choice specs. Because, like, you have to make up so much for his, like, dog shit special attack at the spot. Chorizo. I, I'm coming... I didn't really eat chorizo for most of my, like, upbringing. Because, you know, fucking white, by the way. But I feel like the older I get, chorizo's... Chorizo's so cheap as well. I'm, I'm coming more and more around to chorizo. I'm not coffee, Pat. Wait, what'd you say? Manson. Do, do, do. Give my water... Oh! <laughs> Dude, I thought you meant like, like that's actually really funny. Talking about coffee with ground, that makes way more sense. I thought you were talking about um, like gr like ground beef, like ground beans. I thought that was like something something that British people were eating, dude. I it couldn't put it past me. Uh, if I guys, if I miss a message, so. If I miss, I don't know what is happening today. If I miss a message in chat, guys, just repeat it. Just retype it. There's like 200 people in chat. Um, if I miss your message, it's not a personal attack against you. Don't feel so entitled and so personally hurt to where you have to like blame it at me and like try to guilt trip me into being like, hey man, like I used to love your videos, but why didn't you read my message? I mean, really, I just, just retype it. I, I'm only one guy, you know, I try my best to read everything, but I'm going to miss stuff. Uh, ooh, daily food take. This is a really, really cold take, but Cheesecake Factory is incredible. Um, it's, it's just, it's phenomenal. It's so good. It's a great, for the price, the portions are ridiculous at cheesecake. If you get like an app, a, a main entree and a dessert, you'll end up with like 6,000 calories. It's the most American thing ever. It's crazy. Um, cheesecake factory is just phenomenal. I'm a huge fan of me and Casey will go. I'll did an entree. She'll did an entree. And we'll get one piece of cheesecake to split. And even that is like <laughs> a ridiculous amount of food. I'm a big eater. Like that's Cheesy Factory is it's so good as well. I'm a fan, dude. Everybody says like, oh, the big menu, it can't be that good, man. Check out the, uh, I'm a big fan of the Shepherd's Pie. That's my, that's my food take of the day. Shepherd's Pie, Cheesecake Factory with like an Oreo cheese piece of cheesecake to split afterwards or like a birthday cheesecake. That's my, that's my take of the day. Uh, hi, Pat, do you have a shiny Deerling? I actually do, yes. Um, I got it on accident though. I was going for shiny Vanillite at a spot I probably shouldn't have been at. I was hunting shiny Vanillite out of winter season over like to the east of Dragon Spiral Tower. I should have just waited um, for Vanillish and then like bred it down, but I didn't want to do that. So now I have, yeah, I have a shiny Deerling that I wasn't planning for. Gouda Casey loves Gouda cheese. What's up, Cryptic? Today's Guilt Trip Tuesday. I don't know, man, maybe. What's up? What's up, Solo, dude? Yeah, a lot of food talk today, dude. Burns off some of the calories. I'm fasting. Yeah, that's brutal, man. What's up, Byru? Weird. Yeah, true, Vincer. Just not fast enough, Vincer. Beans mash, best mash. Uh, how many counters for your first shiny? An estimated 300,000. My first shiny was around 300k encounters. Uh, and it took me 2,200 in-game hours. It was pretty unlucky. But then my second shiny was super lucky. Um, just so I can your guys have been helpful to Unova. Dude, I'm, I'm honored to hear it, Deke. And I appreciate it, dude. The fact that you've enjoyed the videos and they've been helpful is, like, already awesome enough. But taking the time to come in here and leave a positive comment is very, very nice. Struggling with Cynthia. I like the, uh, is that, the, like, the, like, Cynthia the rebattle? Or Cynthia the, um, like, Unova Elite Four? Is that right? The food takes during Ramadan? That's fucking tough, yeah. Uh, we're, do we're, do we're doing good. I'm just a little... I'm good today, Cryptic. I'm pretty, like, jittery today. <laughs> Had a fair amount of caffeine. But I'm good, dude. I appreciate it, Manson. I, I try. I feel like I... Pro I think what happens, unironically, Manson, is, like, I think I do do a pretty good job. 
uh yeah it is holding choice pads i think i do do a pretty good job of answering i so num number one i talk pretty fast i would say i feel too slow sometimes but i oh, i would have single encounter ten tangela i talk pretty fast number one number two i because of that i answer questions really fast and i like no i answer a lot of the same questions um and that kind of builds this expectation from viewers and then um i had a third point but i forget uh, but there's a, there's a lot of things that happen that like build this expectation for viewers for me to always answer. And then when it doesn't happen, they get frustrated. Whereas like most streamers at this many viewers would probably just like most streamers, if you watch them, will answer like one question or answer like one, like most bigger streamers, obviously I'm still pretty small, but like they'll answer like one question every like minute or so, maybe, maybe one question every like two to three minutes um, and just focus on there. I, I really try to like, I prioritize engagement and talking to people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After the yeah, well, she also so she also has a rebattle at uh, Undella Bay after the Elite Four. So I wasn't sure if you were in post game feet or the Elite Four. Eight Chinese in four forty, so good, John B. I try to be John B. Longest streak since three hundred K. That's a great. I think my longest since the three hundred K is only like eighty K, which I mean is still pretty dry, but like. Nothing. I haven't been over 100k since, which is nice. True, Clarko. Real. Uh, could we become in-game friends? I just answered the earlier. Earlier, it's just funny. I've had this question a lot recently. Uh, my friends list is full, and it has been full since 600 subscribers. I I can't add everybody in game. The friends list in Pokemon is shockingly small. Uh, anybody can apply to the team Eras, but keep in mind it's literally the most popular team in Pokemon. So if you get declined or rejected it's not because we don't like you or like you're not good enough blah blah blah. it's there's only 150 people who can be in the team it's constantly full we have to kick someone else for you to be able to be invited it's very very hard to get in oh i don't think i was 100k i think i was 80k ish i was yeah i was around 80k aben close ish i guess over one hours people don't do time to do encounters do, yeah i it's it's Shiny hunting's hard, man. It takes a lot of time, vlogger. Yeah, that's, yeah. For, yeah, I mean, that's fucked. That as well, Manson. Can I apply to Petrowski's friend list? I think we'll just <laughs> have to do, yeah. Pissing in the wind. Fuck. The crazy phrase. That's awesome, Crimson. Dude, this uh this Blastoise leveling is honestly going way faster than I expected. Already at level 98? I mean with 10,000 or so XP per that's so good, man. I might just I'm gonna pop a lepi here, honestly. Yeah, why not? We'll go ahead and be done here in a quick sec, honestly. Change my playlist. Vlogger, I read that you spammed that message like 20 times, dude. You gotta chill. I already, I already read that message. You spammed it so many times, dude. It's it's okay to like re if I, I think I to be fair, I think I might have said if I miss a message, did I say spam it or just retype it or re copy and paste it, but not like copy and paste like once every two to three minutes, right? That was a lot, dude. I, I've had a lot of caffeine. I'm pretty jittery today too, man. Okay, I, I, I understand, you know. We gotta chill out a little. Uh, gym run today. Or sh just sh yeah, no gym run today. I'm just gonna finish the XP and then we'll we'll look at it at some point. <laughs> yeah, in all honesty, if I said if I miss a message, spam it. I mean, it's kind of on me. I didn't literally mean that, so apologies. Uh, do you not get bored during shun hunting? You do, everyone, you get bored, right? You do, but it's the best part about shunting and the most. In my opinion, the coolest part about it and the hardest part of what separates like the good chunders from the bad chunders is being able to push past that. If you're able to push past the boredom and still do something you don't like, it builds a lot of mentality. Should we copyright it? No, don't say that. Then we'd lose it. We'd lose its beauty. Malicious compliance. I, I, that's a good phrase. I don't ever use that or think about that, but kind of good. I need all the help I can get. Fuck. What is odd rate? The shiny rate is uh one out of thirty thousand. 
Bet my life savings on you not getting a shiny. Hey, we'll see, man. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, Oceans. I'm always open to hear more ideas. I'm pretty packed on ideas, Fringos, but it's never, you know, it's never bad to add another one to the to the notepad document of, of the list of ideas. All right, this will be the final horde, guys. The final XP horde needed. Here is level 100 on the sixth and final advanced Jimmy Run Team Pokemon. Bam, boom, there it is. All Spout. That's a great name. Level 100. Now, I'll still have to, like, ability pill some of these guys and move set a little more properly, but... We're done building, at least for now, the advanced gym run team. I'm going to take a break from this. I'm not going to learn the, the physical like route and run today because it would just be like, I want to, it's just too much for me. I'm going to go ahead and just put my stuff away or just grab whatever I need. And we're going to go ahead and go, uh, we're going to go shiny hunt, do single encounters over at the Sinnoh spot. One of the best single encounter spots, the shiny hunt in Pokemo. Yeah, no shiny Dawn fan, GG. I'm so happy, man. I'm actually so happy we dodged it. Um, Breloom. I fucking hate this boss glitch, dude. Ugh. Cringe. <laughs> Shut up, Alpha. That was a good meme. Okay, we got this. We need Swarm. So dumb. Let me grab, uh, let's grab my spinner rack. And we'll grab this and this. Okay. That's everything we need. Is it worth getting zero IV minutes potential on trigger Pokemon? Uh, it depends on the trigger Pokemon. Some, yes. Some, it doesn't really impact speed differences. Or, but if something is like a speed tie or an important, it can matter. Yeah, for sure. Dude, I have not been able to. Yeah, I've been so distracted from Poke Force. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, exactly, David. I don't know if someone... So I assume someone talked about that, but yeah. On average, it's 30k, but you're never guaranteed a shiny. Yeah, for future raids, I, yeah, I would like to do a... I would like to do that. I think I have that written down. Let me double check. Yeah, I have a video called Building PVM Pokemon in Preparation for Raids. Top 10 PVM... Pokemon, I'm to prepare for raids. I'll write that down specifically. See how that goes. As a six times your collector, yeah. Head over to Sinnoh. All right, over to Sinnoh on dinner status and Sean. We could go check Monferno really quick. Honestly, it's in Celestic Town, so why not? Ever mention Edge of Yeah, of course, dude. It's, it's my pinned video on my YouTube, is the Crenidos reaction. Dude, I appreciate it, Oceans. You guys have been doing great. I, I really, I've appreciated all the, like, communication and all of the, like, hey, like, we're behind. Like, that's totally okay. A pokey accountant? Dude, unironically, I need a poke accountant or something. This has been something I've like teased the it sounds so meme, but it's been something I've teased the idea of or kind of hinted at. Like, I would be willing to pay someone you should have to like get a trusted person. As a, you know, ender game end game player, right? I'd be willing to pay someone if I shipped off all of my Pokemon to them, if they took the time to like price check and list them for me. I'd be willing to pay someone to do that, to save me the time of having to price. And they, they could keep like 25% or whatever profits come in, they just keep like a percentage of it. Um, it's very, very funny, but someone's full-time job could just be like price checking and selling Pokemon. The issue is for a job like that, that person has to have really good credibility, which is tough to build. Ender game. I don't know why. Yeah, I've been saying some funny stuff today. A poker lawyer when you get banned? Fuck. We need to have poker court. Uh, Rage did say not yet released hidden ability Pokemon are planned as raid rewards when it returns. Wait, where did I would love to see this um, screenshot or that that I would love to see the source for that duck. Um, 
Are there any you're looking forward to, Pat, besides Regenerator? I really hope we don't see Regenerator slow, bro. I would love to see, I mean, dumb ones, like inability uh, Shuckle. It wouldn't even be like that good, but it'd be fun for me. A Pokey Attorney, I got you. Why are the machine purple? What do you mean? Machoke? That's just a normal color. Stream sniped by accident. What's up, Jackpot? Uh, team applications are done through like the mail system. I have I have a full um. If you're looking to get into Team Mister or I guess whatever team you want to get into, I have a full I have a bunch of Discord sources or resources and then uh some videos. Okay, let's. All right, that guy Chimchar checked Monferno. I guess technically. Let's head over to this location. We're gonna head north of Celeste. I'm gonna check the honey tree that's right here as well. There's a second one that I actually should start. Whenever I come to this route, I probably should check both. On you know, the gen art, uh, you know, we can just, I mean. Choke, Pokemon, Sprites. It's gen five, so. Seems like a newer generation Pokemon, they make it blue, but gen five, it was purple. That's really it. You could, there's a website called Pokey, like Pokemon. Yeah, they didn't start making Machamp blue until Gen 6 and 7. It was teal originally? Uh, it doesn't seem like it, but I could be wrong. I mean, I can just, no, I mean, I can just link the, I don't even need to say, I can just objectively say. Here's the source. I, I love this. I use this website for uh, thumbnails. It's super important. Yeah, so it seems like Machoke was... It was like green and red in Gen 2, which is weird. And then it was like obviously colorless in Gen 1. And then, yeah, it was purple and purple and red for a bit. And then Gen 6, it became blue. Okay. Yeah, there's that honey tree down there. I need to start checking this one. There's one like right over here that I should get in the habit of also coming to check whenever I head to the spot. How about you? Shut up, Tom. Get out of here. I can't believe it took someone that long to get me on it, honestly. Um, I have tons of videos that go over what's the best Pokemon for storyline runs in Pokemon. Ah, fair enough, Duplosion. Fair enough. Yeah, maybe maybe the anime and the card game is different. I mean, that's fair. Pokemon's always been, especially like that's super fair to Plosion. Especially in those early generations, um, Pokemon was just always so loose with their like art. Like they like really changed things like that. You know, you're not wrong. What's up, Glock? That uh, would be your backup game. I'd probably just do Retro Pat, switch over to that, or just get a different job or do something else. There's a bunch of things. All right, we made it to the location. We're going to pop our expert lures. We're going to leave with our swarm Pokemon and run back and forth for fun. Uh, it's a, it's an in-game setting, Alpha. I have a video on that <laughs> as well. What's up, Abe? And you can, uh, did you whisper me it? Let me see. You can whisper me the thing, whatever. If you look up like top three settings or like settings, Pokemo, you should change. I have a video on it. Uh, you ha you hate shiny fly gun. Interesting. Uh, now I'm shiny hunting, Fungal. What's up, dude? Now I'm full on hunting. But did someone else? We got a okay Dizzle price check price request as well. Okay, yeah. Okay, we got two. Okay. Oh my goodness, the secret shiny. What egg is this? Water C, water A field. Okay. How I would do this is I would do water A, male, secret shiny, and just sell it as like a, a breeder. I mean, minimum this would be, why is this so, what a weird price. I'd probably go, what, like 25 mil on this? That's what this ends up costing. This other one field. This price difference is crazy. Is this a flip? I don't have 15 mil, but this might be a flip. Do 
Dude, if I had 15 mil, I would 1 million percent flip this. I don't know if anyone wants it. Obviously, make your own decisions. Don't just listen to what I'm saying for no reason. Um, but 15 mil versus 39 being the next option for a secret shiny male in the field. That's wild. This is turbo flip potential. Now, you wouldn't sell it for this price, but you'd probably... They price it at the fly nature, but not the field. What I, or the Yeah. I would buy this personally, and I would sell it for like... 25 20 to 25 maybe like 22 point like you probably make like a 7 mil flip on this if you have if you have the capital um this would probably go for yields more expensive it probably just goes similar like 25 yeah on it 25 it's crazy ball slash caught location uh no they're someone's gonna use it as a breeder it doesn't it doesn't impact it sadly price like no one really cares. Like, yeah um, even though it's cool, obviously, to you, which I, it is cool. And then shup it. Someone bought it. I, it's, it's just a good, like, I, it's a good fucking flip like that. Yeah. Um, do you redeem a ERAS? Did you redeem a price check? Or are you just sending me these to flex? Okay. Let's do the shup it. Aben bag jolly. This is nice. I mean, thief. You probably sell this as a chuppet slash bayonet. People want, people want frisk bayonet. But the issue is, who really wants a five times thirty-one one for for PVM purposes, right? That has a lot of particles. Oh fuck, dude. I, particles make things so specific. Okay. Are you actually trying to ask me for a price check, or are you just asking this to flex? I mean, it's, yeah, either way, it just really, it doesn't really, it depends on my, how important, I guess, I put too so much effort into the price check. But I'm asking, yeah, fair, okay. First thing first, let's just check Bayonet. Um, it's correct nature as well. So easily, I mean, it's already going to be worth like one point. Already, I'd say it's like 1.2, 1 1.4, 1 but let's really factor in more particles. You probably end up selling this for... This one's just overpriced, in my opinion, this one. I would... You know what I would do? I would, um... I would undercut this one. I would under... Because this one's... So what this is going to do is, this one's overpriced... But if you undercut it, people are mentally, people will see the over, you can use overpriced mons at your benefit. So someone will see this as overpriced and they'll be like, oh, this is like pretty expensive. And like see the particle, blah, blah, blah. And then they'll see yours and they'll be like, oh, this one's, you know, one pokey and cheaper and it has way more particles. What a good deal. And they'll, they might buy it. I would go like 1.6 mil to 2 mil on it or 1.6 to 1.8.8 usually. But because of that, like, because the other ones listed at two, I would probably just undercut that one to like one pokey and. And no, no one would ever buy, like, no one would ever buy the two mil one over yours. That, that's what I would recommend. Usually you sell that for, like, 1.6, probably, around that. But I would, because of that one being listed, I'd probably sell it for more. 1.6 to 2 mil or whatever. I did, no, I, <laughs> okay, wait, I feel like that's, <laughs> you're so greedy, you're so crazy, Ava. No, I wouldn't do that. I would I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, buying that one, it's so overpriced. Buying that one for two mil is so risky. That is, it's never gonna, that's so crazy. Um, I just, I like the thought. Yeah, it's so crazy. I don't think people are that dumb. I would not recommend buying that one for two mil. What's the rarest shiny to get? I have a couple of videos going over the rarest shinies in Pokemon. I mean, it's right now it's Shaman because there's not a single one exists. There's not a, like Shaman can be shiny, but there's not a single one. Based Clarko. I believe more abilities like Swarm Pokemon. That don't do the title. I believe adding more abilities like Swarm to Pokemon that don't actually have abilities would rage give her. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, I appreciate it, Duck. I believe adding more abilities. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty crazy, Dimitri. Uh, shiny Shininja. Shiny Shininja is up there. As like number secret shiny ninjas, you know, up there. 
Uh, there's not a way to get the other. It's like, what is it? Sky form? There's not a way to get the other form of Shaman. Uh, what's up, Cryptic? You can whisper me the Pokemon in game. Get that price check. Shining out Dino. I mean, Shining out Dino is a rare, but you just you just egg hunt it. Like it's just yeah, you don't you don't wild Fino hunt for Shining out Dino. You would just egg hunt it. Anything that's an egg hunt is obviously not going to be like the rarest. Anything that's a normal egg hunt is rare, but it's not ever going to be like the rarest. Like there's just so many Pokemon that are just egg hunts, you know. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I appreciate it. Appreciate some help. Okay. I would, uh, once again, I would go, um, well, actually, oh, I see what you're saying. This is a, like, trick room, isn't it? Like, trick room crawdon. Um, and you can go mixed on it. That's, so, like, you actually would sell this as a crawdon, 100%, and not as a breeder. Or I would try to. With adaptive. I don't know how used it is. I don't think, it, like, is it in UU? I don't think crawdon. Honestly, no, it's doing, it does life orb. They mostly go full physical, though. It'll be a little harder to sell this. It's kind of niche. Yeah, I was able to get the, the legendary, the, the like Zapdos, the final one I needed, or Maltrace, Maltrace, which is awesome. It, it is a little funny, Admiral. Okay, I would try to sell it. Sorry, I'm on Charm. Yes, you, this this is 1 million percent the type of crowd you would put Ice Beam on. 100 percent. 100 percent. Um, And the low speed is actually fine. Okay, I would start off by doing like 31. I would, okay, I would start off by doing, this is so awkward though. 20, 20, 20. I'm on charm though. No, you're fine. I'm trying to, that's that's the, like this is a pretty in-depth, I mean like I've got like four price checks while I'm on shiny charm, so I just feel bad for wasting it. You guys are fine. I'll just try my best to do both. Nah, I appreciate cryptic, you're fine. I'll try to figure it out. Even if my encounters don't get tracked for a sec, that's okay. So let's just, like, the basic first thing first, I would do this, and then I would try to weave in. The 31 attacks and stuff are important. 115, 140. Uh, this is going to be your most comparable one, which kind of sucks because it's it's so cheap, right? Hmm. So this sucks. If you were to sell this as a Crawdon, It doesn't seem to be worth that much, right? If you were to sell this as a Crawdon, I don't know how you ever beat this one. You might just sell us as a breeder. I think it's gonna be on, based on this market. I I would just sell us as, personally. That's what I would do. So I'll price check that for you. So that would just become a really easy price check of the run back and forth first. Uh, water A, male. That's what I would do personally. Did you redeem the? Price check rewards snow. Guys, I, I don't do price checks for free because then all that ends up happening is I just play like even with price checks costing 10k channel points, I, I'm still having to do a lot today, which is fine. Obviously, if you paid for it, you earn it. But I can't do if I do price check for free, I never play the game because everybody always asks me, and also people don't learn. Um that I I did price checks for free in my Discord when I was a small creator, or I'm still small, but like when I was smaller, um I, I had a Discord chat called like price checks and all me and all my mods would spend so much time it was ridiculous helping with price checks and what happened was nobody it became really infuriating because what happened was we developed people who would never actually learn how to price check themselves they would just ask us to price check everything the amount of like one times 31 basic as fuck price checks they would send us it was so fucking fr it was it was horribly frustrating so we eventually had to shut it down because people just can't be it really sucks to like shut down a cool service like that because people can't be fucking reasonable about it or, or mature which sucks but that's the internet that's what happens um yeah this is way better like i would sell this as, as a breeder as a crawdon this goes for like one you know like 140k as a breeder dude i would sell this for like 320k um you could undercut this and do 27999 no that's an alpha i, I would do no no it's all it's, it's not alpha it's ability. i would do the um I would do like 320, 350, somewhere between that. Oh my god, but this is what, no, I would do 350 actually. Or three wait, wait. Maybe you should go fucking higher, dude. What? But it's been up for 15 days, which strikes fear into me. Uh I would do 
320 to 350. Final answer. I think he was just casually saying, you know, Alpha, you know, you know, I don't, I don't think he was like, oh, this guy held me down and made me. I think he was just casually saying, fine. It's all the video app. Calling shiny ponyta? No, don't you dare! It'll be the worst thing ever. Uh, shiny Slowbro is awesome, dude. Congratulations, Neil. Uh, I don't have a tutorial on berry farming, but many, many, many other YouTubers do. Um, I haven't done one. So I don't. I don't have enough experience. Like, I don't feel comfortable making a guide on something unless I have adequate experience to make like to make a guide on it. You know, I have to actually learn the activity and spend like hundreds of hours practicing and learning and learning the ins and outs. Um, and I haven't done that for berry farming, so. I haven't made a guide on it. Same with like E4 reruns. Uh, the my favorite shiny here would be Sudowoodo. My number one shiny here would be Sudowoodo. Number two is probably Mr. Mime. Number three is Breloom. Number four is Scyther. Number five is Trickatoon. That's like my order. Shiny Sorovia would be fine. I'd be pretty happy. Like this, I'm happy with that. Shiny Scyther. Five hundred for years, ever, dude. I really want a shiny uh, Sand Slash. I really want one, Dirk. Shiny. Sl why does my uh, YouTube <laughs> stop playing off of my? You like leave my playlist? Why? I have a playlist created for music. Why do you? Why do you just auto play off of it? It makes no sense. Ugh. Um. Yeah. Uh, do you know what happens? This is a great question. Do you know what happens if you try to catch a Pokemon where all of your boxes are full? I'm pretty sure it won't let you throw the Pokeball. Uh, I think my friend Josh Watt has had that happen. That's why, like, it's legitimately a huge fear. You never, ever, ever want to have your boxes full because the odd chance of you just running into a shiny with full boxes is just... It's too devastating to want to ever risk happening. Yeah, the game will not let you throw a ball. Why are boxes so damn expensive? They really fucking are, dude. They really are. Uh, PC expansion drives are really expensive. It's brutal, man. It's tough out here. <laughs> True and real alpha. Trying to Charmander. I, dude, I would not use like premium, like premium lures. Is that what you're using? Just whatever. Guys, I really recommend. Oh my goodness, dude. Please, ah. Guys, please do math and do research before trying anything. Um, let's do the math on that. So, oh man. Um, I will say it's tough because premium lures increase your chance of Charmander. All right, let's... Um, all right, guys. I can't encourage you enough to... Whenever you want to try something in Pokemon or any game, I guess, test it first and then commit to it. Someone in chat said that they've been hunting shiny hunting charmander for a while using premium max lures and i vehemently recommend against this and i'll explain why it really because really it's just so disgustingly expensive let's talk about why it's so expensive um so for those who don't know premium max lures cost around 500,000 000 Pokemon per hour to to use and usually an egg hunt will take you around 2000 or not an egg hunt sorry he's single encountering for it 2000 hours on average for that single encounter hunt right so if you do 200 2000 2, times 500k per hour you plan to spend one what is that billion do you have a billion pokey yen to spend on premium max lures to go for charmander for 2000 hours <clears throat> even if you did why would you ever do this it's way better at that point to just use expert lures or just um egg hunt it there there is never a reason premium max lures are so bad if you're like premium max lures are only a whale item so <clears throat> let's go over it where are they at premium max lures premium lures and legendary lures are whale items do not use these unless you are want to piss away pokeyen for fun and that's that's fine but like don't use these as an actually viable means to shiny hunt it is disgustingly stupidly expensive um <clears throat> Even like the richest of the, even like, let alone average player, even the richest of the rich players, like don't really use premium max lures. Like they kind of use them as like a meme, but like it's never actually good. They're really, 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 the effect is good, but it's stupidly expensive. You've been premium stamazed. Yeah. Like 
obviously with premium lures, it would shrink the amount, the hours of the hunt. It wouldn't be 2,000 hours. But even if we cut the hunt in half, which is not what it would do, it would end up cutting it by what percentage? We can just check. Like, what's the percent that premium max lures increase? Uh, so premium lures uh, make it so there's a 10% chance to receive the lords exclusive species as opposed to 5%. So it increases the hunt speed by 5% how bad is it? like so 2000 hours times 0 0.05 so you're so by by spending 1 billion pokien you're saving yourself 100 hours it's just so disgust like it's so disgustingly not worth it do not use premium match lures, please, please and also just run math and and test before you before you do something um in research 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 um yeah, there's some other it's just it's hard to fully mathematically calculate joey that is fair but even if you like some even if it saved a thousand hours why would you it's still not worth like even if you cut the use time in half yeah premium lore is master all alphas yeah based i'm gonna use them anyway clueless based i respect it it's yeah it's brutal manson it's brutal man I feel like I see so many casual players who are like, yeah, I'm going to start single encounter hunting for Charmander. And it's like, do you, which is which is cool. And I, like, I'm happy for you. And you should, like, I respect it. But 99.9% .9 of players are never going to finish that goal ever. Um, Training Charm's worth it. If you Google, are Training Charm's worth it? Pokemo and is Dinner Status worth it? Pokemon. I have two different videos on that topic. Uh, gener I'm going to give you the TLDR. Those videos will explain a lot more and give you a lot better answers. I do recommend watching them. Generally, Shiny Charms are not worth it. Uh, Dinner Status can be. Shiny Charms are only worth it when you're egg hunting, generally. And even then, it's like kind of not really kind of up for debate. Expert lords are the same as premium? No. Aggressively, no. Um, expert lures cost 15,000 Pokeyen per hour versus premium cost 500k. Like, that's an insane difference, right? Uh, obviously, the effect, like, expert lures aren't as good, but they're still very good, and the price is insanely cheaper. That's like, I think it's 30 mil to use expert lures for 2,000 hours versus 1 bill versus 120 mil if you're egg hunting. It's all just math. 26 egg that's pretty incredible yeah obviously like, there's gonna be some people who always get lucky which is awesome but like i really wouldn't i wouldn't encourage people to start i don't know i kind of would encourage people to start a shunt they can't finish but just know that heading in i guess or like figure out i don't know it depends some people will start a, a hunt they can't fin the issue is some people will start a shiny hunt they can't finish and if they can't finish it they get bored and quit the game but some people will start a shunt knowing they won't finish it and they'll just enjoy and they'll enjoy the journey it's it's all about like whether you're doing it for the journey or the destination, right? Is that Aben bag? I could tell because the worm worm and the green hair. Yeah, like on if you single encounter for a expert lore, like starter shiny in the wild, on average you're gonna see 19 other shinies before you get that. Like if you think single encounter shunting is hard, right? You have to do that 19 times on average to get that Charmander. So it's yeah, it's really important to know math, and it's know what you have coming in, I guess. Um, yo, two seasons, two hours is super good, man. And Duosion's fantastic. And you got saved with a pop up, yo, dude. That's just three fantastic things. Nice job, Enoch. Happy to hear it, man. Oh shit, that would that would have been cool to see on stream, Admiral. <laughs> is Alpha Stormy worth to be in, to invest? Um good question invest probably not like I, I don't know i that's not a market that i've my honest answer is i just don't know it's not a market i've kept up with how limited are alpha stormies like it's a really good question i i honestly i don't feel comfortable giving you an answer that seems to be a market you've been watching and you've been keeping an eye on um and i haven't so i'm just out of i'm just it's out of my depth my honest answer but i don't want to give you an answer now i'll say that i personally this is personal preference but i think this is kind of meme -y. I fucking love Analytical Starmie. I think Analytical Starmie is so fun and so cool. Analytic is just an incredible... Analytic's an awesome ability. I don't think PvP players really respect it that much, which is probably... They're probably right, but I like it a lot. Um, the cool thing about Analytic... So Analytic is an ability. I love it on Magnezone. My favorite Analytic Pokemon is Magnezone because... Here, let me show you why. 
So, Analytic, dude. I love this ability. Uh, my favorite Analytic Pokemon. I, I think Analytic is not an ability that's very respected by PvP players. Probably rightfully so. Um, my favorite Analytic Pokemon is Magnezone. Because the cool thing is, right? Analytic is an ability that boosts the power of the Pokemon's... If, if the Pokemon moves second, right? Which I think it's like a 1.5 times... It's like 50% boost of damage, which is pretty huge. Um, and Magnezone is like not fast, but it's not horribly slow either. But what Magnezone does really well is that it causes, it forces other Pokemon to switch out, firstly, and then it also has Vault Switch. So what I really like about Magnezone is that it can switch in, pressure the opposing, whatever the Pokemon is, and then click Vault Switch. And if the opponent switches out, that Vault Switch gets boosted by Analytic. If your opponent switches out, um, you still get that Analytic boost because you technically moved second, which is really, really huge. It's a huge, huge, huge damage increase. Um, an analytic vault switch. If you go like choice specs, modest, like full damage, analytic, you know, magnezone, you just do ridiculous, ridiculous damage. It's super, super cool. Um, obviously, the main thing is you have to aggressively watch out for ground types. If they switch in that ground type into your vault switch, you're going to get turbo fucked. So you got to like predict, predict like a flash cannon or something if you need to watch out for that. Uh, Sneak Web's not in the game, it's Gen 6 plus. There's Gen 6 plus mechanics in Pokemon, but not like movesets or Pokemon. Uh, it costs 10,000 channel points for a price check, man. Doing a lot of price checks this stream. Analytic is run on half of Starmies? Really? That's kind of surprising to me. That's really cool, though. Starmie is a weird Pokemon. Yeah, like 42. That's honestly makes me happy to see. Um, Analytic is strange on Starmie. Because once again, it goes timid. It's really a fast Pokemon, but you still run analytic because of, once again, Starmie forces switch outs. So when you bring in a Starmie and the Pokemon is scared of Ice Beam, you can you can like still click Ice Beam, even though they're probably going to switch into a resistant Pokemon. And that Ice Beam is still going to do way more damage because of that analytic, if that makes sense. So like it's like a win-win situation for Pokemon like Starmie, which is super, super cool. I love analytic, man. It's great, great ability. It's a fun ability if used in cool ways. Uh, I don't know, Wax. I'm not, I'm not, I know, I know, uh, I assume what you're trying to do is, like, get a shiny at, like, an unobtainable location. Nor like, once, you know, once you finish out the storyline, you can't go to it. I'm honestly not sure, man. Um, oh, man, I feel bad. I almost feel bad accepting something like that, Daniel. But if, if you really want to price check that bad and you need it very quickly, I'm down, dude, yeah. Uh, my whispers are open. You can whisper me in game. Dude, I I, re I saw that. Um, I can't believe they're releasing. I'm not. That's crazy that they're doing um. a Shogun show. I couldn't believe that. That was so crazy to me. That's so cool. Is it based off of the... I just didn't expect that. That's so cool. It looked it looks really good. Um I really want I want to I want to watch it. I'm doing a crazy like the I know the Fallout show the Fallout TV show is coming up soon. I I don't I'm like not that much of a pessimistic person. I don't think the Fallout show is going to be good, dude. It, it based on the show, I hopefully I'm wrong. It looks like it's going to be kind of cheesy. Uh, I'm not a huge ROM hack player. I I I, just, I don't have time for them and like I just would rather play Pokémon. They're not bad. Uh, I think Delibird. Yeah, Delibird's a pretty good first shiny. You need Lepa Berries for it, Day. That's the tough part, but it's time to swipe Horde. It looks really good. Shogun. The casting looks odd. I So, what I immediately didn't like about the Fallout TV show. Obviously, it's not out. I really hope it's good. Yeah, I, yeah. Um, who saw the trailer? My biggest... It, it stood out like a... I feel like if you're a Fallout fan, this stood out like a sore thumb. Um, I hated the the look of the ghouls. The ghouls look way too human. Ghoul Fallout TV show. Um, they absolutely did the like, they like prettyified them. 
Like, ghouls are supposed to look way more, like, fucked up and, like, damaged. In the TV show, it just looks like a guy with, like, a, a, a hole in his nose. And, like, that's it. His, he's, like, he's, like, kind of a pretty boy for a, for a, what's it called? For a ghoul. Which, in my opinion, is, I don't know. Obvi obviously, they're doing that to try to let people relate to him more. But I just think it's kind of... I don't know why that I don't know why that cringes me out so much. He's he's too human for a ghoul. That ghoul is pretty. Yeah, they made him way too human for a ghoul. It looked too clean. Yeah. It it looks way too. It's supposed to be fucking gritty, dude. It looks way too like clean and stuff. Oh, dude, thank you so much. Yeah, okay. Post average for ten mil. You check it out. Tell me it's expensive. Thank you. Okay, I'll check it. I appreciate the donation, man. I I wouldn't normally do something like that, but if you're really looking for a price check, I can try to help you. A shiny Rattata for ten mil, and I'm not on Charm anymore, which is good. Posted a shiny. Is this it? Yes. Okay. You posted a shiny Rattata for ten mil with the OT Javab. Adamant. Adamant. Twenty plus in every stat. Double thirty one defense. It is awkward that it doesn't have thirty one attack or speed. But this might be... Let's check. Let's see. Field. I'm glad it's male. That's good. I would do this like this. 30 plus, 20 plus, and then just do 20 plus in these. Not worth special attack. Ugh. So this is the... Ooh, this is. I, I think 10 mil is definitely overpriced. Um, but the, the issue is you have this Meowth... That's so cheap. Fighting over your, fighting over your Rattata, and the Meow but the issue is the Meowth Meow doesn't have the adamant nature, which is obviously good, but it's really comparable stat wise. But the nature is important. I would so I would add. It sounds like a lot. I would probably list this Rattata for six mil. I'd probably do five five million nine hundred ninety nine thousand. I think ten mil is way too high. I don't know how that how you came to that. I bet you came to that conclusion by also price checking the special attack, but it's just it's just not relevant, especially when it's um when it's adamant nature. You're just, you're never using that special attack. If you leave it for a while, that present my that's fair. Like if if you I would I would never cancel it. Don't don't go cancel this listing. Um, let it sit. You could even price check it. You could even price it at like ten mil, and let it sit for. I don't know. I don't know. If, I don't think anyone's gonna buy this. I think it's way overpriced, personally. Um, I think I would go six mil on it. And even six mil is kind of high. And I, I think this is way overpriced. Um, but don't cancel it. I would I would let it sit. I would let it um some people are looking for that sp super hyper specific people but that are willing to pay more. Let it sit. Let it um let it wear like let it cancel itself out. And then eventually I would go ahead and uh I would I would relist it for six mil. It's some legends to catch, Pat. What's up, Uthi? That's my recommendation. If you have any more questions, let me know. I think that was around. Uh, it was a, it was around a six dollar six dollar US donation, which is which is really nice. You know, I appreciate it. Very good. It's you know, it's like two and a half subs or some shit. Pog. It is pog. Yes, that's the same. It's the it's the it's the rat he's talking about, Duck. Uh, when it comes out, I played multiverses when it released, and I I I'm not a huge fighting game guy usually, but I enjoyed it. I played LeBron James. I was a I was a LeBron James main for the for the three hours that I played multiverses. I you know I didn't play it for long, but I really enjoyed the like the ba the basketball projectile mechanics of LeBron and having like pick the ball up and like follow the projectile. It was really really fun. Yeah, I think I think that's yes. I think I think you're on the right track, Daniel. Good luck to you. Man. I hope you sell it well, dude. Good luck to you, man. Hopefully you still profit on it. Is it is it re-releasing? Didn't it get yeah, didn't multiverse get taken down and now it's re-releasing? That's interesting. LeBron James, yeah. The way you t I just immediately knew how you would say that based on how you typed it. Yeah, that's, yes, that's exact, literally retro, yes, that's exactly, it, it was a great game, it was fun, but there was like no reason to, I don't know, I didn't really, I'm not a huge fighting game guy, relaunching, that's cool, man, 
400 hours. It seems like a great game, so I respect those who took, who like went. It's a good game to go hard on. Yo, what's up, big hard ray dog? Happy to see you as always, dude. Hey, Kona. I wasted 1.5 behind match card. Should I buy one? Buying a shiny is way less respected and way less. What's the word? No one's gonna. This is gonna sound harsh, but like no one's gonna respect you for having a non OT shiny. Um, non OT shinies are just so easy to get compared to. Like, um, I have a lot of videos on this topic. If, if you look up the Dratini equation, Pokemon, I talk about this. I think you could still flip it, Daniel, but it's the margins are... I, I mean, I would definitely agree the margins are going to be, like, not worth it. I, I, I wouldn't... Rec yeah, I wouldn't, like, recommend someone to buy that to flip it. I think that's probably around fair. Pseudo today, dude, hopefully. Um... There's just no honor. It's not even, like, an honor thing. It's just, like, a... Non OT shinies are so much easier to get. Like if you wanted to, if you wanted to buy a shiny Magikarp, it would take you like three hours to grind the Pokeyen or one quick credit card swipe, right? Like buying is really fucking easy versus actually hunting your own OT one would take a minimum of like thirty hours on average and probably like forty five to sixty if you do, if you had your teeny. I guess probably thirty on average or whatever. But yeah, non OT shinies are super super not respected. Um, if you if you do non OT collecting, I think that's cool and it should be encouraged. However, don't ever try to don't ever try to compare non OT shinies to OT because it's just not it's just not comparable. I think if you non OT collect, that's very cool and it should be a little more respected. But don't try to if someone says, "Hey, I just caught this OT shiny," and you say, "Oh, that's cool. This is my non OT." It's like it's like if someone said, "Um, you know, it was a good comparison." It's like if someone said, hey, I just got my college degree, and you were like, oh, that's really cool. I just read a, a wiki page for two hours. And it's like, oh, okay. What the fuck? Like, it's just the, the level of, com like, the level of accomplishment is so ridiculously different. Yeah, when some yeah, when something is easy to get, it's more commonly gotten, and therefore it's less rare, less respected. Like, yeah. I think on average you're gonna spend what three mil hunting Magikarp with Lepas, or if you're not doing Lepas, you should just do it for free. If you just want Carp, you can do it for free. But if you want to do it, go for Dratini. I would, I would just if you want to hunt Dratini one day, I would just do the Magikarp. I would do the Dragon's Den spot, you know. There's levels to this shit. Yes, it's yeah, hundred percent. There, there is so many tiers when it comes to shiny hunting for sure. Kind of, Danny, yeah. Or some, I, I guess a better comparison would be like, um, if someone was like, hey, I just like worked really hard and like got through a trade school and like did all this shit on my own. And someone was like, oh yeah, my dad bought me a car for my 16th birthday. Haha, <laughs> here it is. And it's like, what the fuck? Like this, like one is pay to win and you didn't really earn it and deserve it. And then the other, well, it's so much less degree. And maybe you got good grades and that's why your dad got it for you. Would you know, you know, right? Like, one is, a, yeah, but the respect difference is insane. It, dude, some people get stuck in Dragon's Den, dude. It's tough. Oh my god, yeah. It, like, not, yeah, a non OT living debt would be really impressive, but it would just be really expensive. I mean, it would it'd be pretty impressive. I only have one OT shiny, but that's what makes that, but that's, isn't that cool? Like, the fact that you only have one is what makes that one so goddamn special, right? Like, that's awesome. It's a good thing to it, having one is impressive. A Safari Zone carp is awesome. Wait, this player level 100 when? I probably should. I've been lazy. There's just no reason. I don't know. There's no reason to rush it. To be fair. Yeah, but even even that, Mike, you could like uh. Get your own OT shiny and then breed it up with the IVs with with the money. So it's like a combination of 
Pokeyen plus you spent the time to hunt it. Uh, for some people just have that issue, VX. It's like just a weird technical thing. I would recommend if you really have that huge issue. Okay, I'll just go ahead and I got you, Sim Killer. Um, I have XP candies as well I can use because I don't know if I need to use all rare candies for it. Give me one sec. Um, uh, if, you, if you just Google Alpha Swarms Explain DHV, there's a video on it, man. You can breed shinies? Yes. I have a video on that as well. Google most questions before asking, guys, please. I appreciate it. Shiny commons are the coolest? Yeah, they're pretty neat. Uh, yeah, some people just have that mechanical issue with, with uh, Gillen's encounter counter. I recommend trying Archetype. Some people swear by Archetype. Some people swear by Gillen's. It really just comes down to personal preference and like what works best on your hardware. Um, all right. You know what? I'm going to quickly go ahead and level up my, my spinner act, dude. I've been sitting on it for a long time. I'm down to go ahead and do this. It's level 91 currently. It doesn't need that much XP. I could have just XP trained it, but... So a viewer did send me some rare candies that I can use on it to level it up. Let's see how many XP candies I'd have to use. Let's do that. Let's do three of those. Cancel the evolution. We can always evolve it later on. So now it's XP candy versus... I think XP candies are just always cheaper. Rare candies are like, what, 15k or so? Until you reach a certain level. Yeah, 16k. These are like 16k. So until you reach a certain level, XP candies are just so much more worth to use, it seems like. Probably until you reach like level 95 or something. Let's just go ahead and do this. Two levels. It's a 96. Now it's 20k per level. How much are the 10k candies? This is probably where it starts to be worth. I'm going to go ahead. I also have untradeable rare candies. I'm going to use those. Now we need one, four, right? Do level 100? Bam. There it is, fellas. Cancel it. Keep it a spinner act. This is my Squirtle OT catch event one shiny spin rack. Chat's been begging me to get to level 100 for a while now. So there you guys go. Get that uh that OCD issue out of here. We got it fixed. Level 100 Spoder. Thank you for that sim killer. For sponsoring that level up. <laughs> Not level 99, huge L. I can always evolve it if I want to. That would... Dude, did you imagine how annoyed <laughs> chat would be if it was, if it was level... Uh, fuck. Free and, yeah, fuck. Just keep it underleveled so chat always asks. Get your brain. Uh, I'd have to check at some point on my PC, Sim Killer. Yeah, the Krikatoon, uh Battle Cry. It's I like it, but I get it. Good luck to you, Erez. About to hit 44,000 encounters. Uh, that would be, well, number one, that would be against the rules, ball, ball, be, that would be the quickest way to get banned. <laughs> uh, that's RMT, my man, which is real money trade, which is bannable and very against the rules in Pokemon. Not to be discussed or even talked about as a joke. Sorry to be so harsh on it, I just, yeah. Shut up, Kawhi. <laughs> Shut up, JW Tree. I almost called you. Shut up, JW Tree. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Conrick? Um, I have a video on that topic. Like, and if you Google um top five locations to hunt legendary beasts, Pokemon. It's kind of a specific Google. I I can send it to you. If my internet would load. Okay, here is that video, if you're interested. Oh, you're, you're good liking it, should be. Yeah, hopefully that helps you out. <laughs> I, I, I try liking it. I really try. I've spent a lot of time and energy in my lifetime uh, trying to create a video for every topic in Pokemon. I try, man. How does charm sharing work? The people in your link just get a small percentage. So if you pop a shiny charm, the user, the popper gets 10%. The people in the link get 5%. Shut up, Tom. Oh, I hit 44,000 encounters. Oopsie. 
Hard. Uh, I'm gonna guess you're gonna get lucky, James. I'm gonna guess 17,800 encounters, James. Good luck. I appreciate it, Dutch. I like the name, Dutch. So I'm trying to include this. Good luck to you, Aben. Uh, how is Shinigami robe so up in price right now? Is it? That's a. I love that van. I think that vanity is super underrated. Shinigami robes. Yeah, plus like it's up to like 300k. I'm sure someone's obviously just buying it up, trying to force it up a little bit. I mean, as we can see, people just buy out. It's called a buyout. People buy out vanities all the time like this. Um, like these have all been listed in the past out one hour. All these for 300k. So obviously someone bought up a shit ton and is trying to force up the price. But it's a good. It's a good vanity. So it would not surprise me if this went up pretty quickly let's see um like that should be like an 800k vanity in my opinion honestly like i could see that really easily i have three of them so biased but i think it's a great vanity it's a pretty good like neutral like black and white color that fit a lot of outfits oh i haven't seen the new season sim killer i just haven't watched much i don't keep up with anime i feel like nowadays <laughs> i just want the wishing stone to do something <laughs> fair <laughs> Fair request, blank blank. How is the uh, how's the wishing stone doing? It's just still sitting in our inventories, just hanging out. Oh, okay, just want to double check. <laughs> fair fair request. Uh, I, Sakuna. I, I don't remember. I feel like I don't remember any fucking characters' names anymore in anime. Post Naruto, I just forget. I never remember people. Um, who is Sakuna? Is it Suk Suk Sakuna on his nuts? Or is it? A, I swear to God. Okay, no, it's like a real character. Um, I don't even know if I know this guy, dude. This is a spoiler. I don't know if I know this character. Oh, is it the is it the demon in the main character's body? I, I don't I don't have a I don't know I don't much of a take man. I haven't seen J J JJK in a while. Like on a dick? No, shut the fuck off. I I saw it coming. Okay, I count that as not. It, that's a good one though. That's a good one. Um, yo, dude, everybody's whispering me two shinies. Everybody's getting so fucking lucky, dude. Two shinies one day. You're a fucking madman, dude. Nice job. Dust Lops looks awesome. Wow. I haven't seen shiny Dust Lops Sprite in a long time. That's actually like such a good looking shiny. That's a great red, dude. Everybody's whispering me like two shinies in one day now. <laughs> apparently, this is just a normal thing. All my viewers get two shinies in one day, apparently. It was like, what, four hours apart? <laughs> that was today. Once again, two shinies in one day today. That's so crazy. Congrats, dude. Naruto fan, yay. I'm a huge... I love Naruto. Huge cringe Naruto fan. I it, I fucking love it. People hate the war arc. I love the war arc. Obviously, it's long as hell, but I, I love it, man. Not at all, bro. Some people, me, I've had some spirited fucking debates about Naruto. Uh, my favorite character is Shikamaru, which does make me cringe. You know they ruined it? Uh, from Baruto, I assume you're gonna say, or Baruto, Boruto, which is probably fair. I, I try to, I have, so I've only seen the first 30 episodes or so of Boruto, and obviously it's, it's bad. Um, but like, I try to be charitable. One day I'll go watch all of Boruto and I'll go in with an open mind. The, the reason why, in my opinion, why like Boruto is so fucking hard or so bad, right? Is like so hard to like. It's because they went from saving the literal world from like a fucking godlike deity, from multiple godlike deities, to like a kid tossing around paint cans once again. Like they they reset the world, right? Like Boruto feels like Boruto is Naruto for the next generation, right? It's not meant for Naruto fans, in my opinion. It's such a it's so hard to power like Naruto did such a fucking phenomenal job in my opinion of like power creeping for like 10 years like the power creep in naruto was really fucking good in my opinion and they continued to like blow away our expectations until eventually um they like peaked and it was awesome and then and now boruto is like fucked now it's like now they have to reset and it just feels shitty that's kind of how i feel and it's just like not for naruto fans it's for like a new generation of fans, and I don't know if it's... I don't know. I, I want to try to watch Boruto, and I want to try to like it with an open mind at some point, but... But the work is too long. I... I mean, that's fair. I like it, but I, I think it's fair. Does get better? Yeah, that's... Yes. That's what I've heard as well, Clarko, which once again gives me vibes of like... 
It's just like, w imagine watching Naruto Shippuden and going back to Kid Naruto. Kid Naruto is great, right? But I think Kid Naruto is way better, way worse than Shippuden. Um, dude, I put off watching. I love. I grew up watching Kid Naruto, and I loved original Naruto. And I put off of watching Shippuden for a really long time because I heard mixed things about it. And then when I eventually, I don't want to ruin my perspective of Naruto. When I eventually finally watched it, I was like, I can't believe people told me not to. It's it's Shippuden is way better than Kid Naruto in my opinion. Like, for reference, Kid Naruto is like a 9 out of 10. Kid Naruto is really good, right? But Shippuden is like everything Kid Naruto was, but more mature, but better, but deeper, but darker. Like, it's just better in every way. Like, Shippuden is literally just Naruto, but better. Um, all the themes that, like, the themes of Kid Naruto are super basic. They're all like, don't give up. Uh, friendship is power. All these, like, normal whatever things, right? And But they're done in a really cool way. Naruto Shippuden, what I really like is like, they really explore the idea, especially in the war arc. My favorite, my favorite part of the anime is like the most hated death. Everybody fucking hates, I'm not, no spoilers please, because people haven't seen it. But there's one character that dies that everybody gets super fucking mad about that I actually think is like the most, imp I would love to like do a video on this. Oh, like a fucking different channel. I think the, the most hated death is the most important death in the entire series. Do not say it in chat. I will ban you. No spoilers. Um, it's so fucking important because... It teaches Naruto to deal with, like, what happens when your plans go, like, horribly wrong. Like, when people get hurt because of you, and, like, how to step... Like, it's such a difference of, like, there was never give up in Kid Naruto, right? But there was no consequences. And then in Naruto Shipp Shippuden, we really saw the consequences. Like, in Naruto Shippuden, it was like, we see an adult man reach fucking despair and like truly be at his bottom and like how does he what happens then how does he like does he continue his his mantra failed him in that moment and it's like shut up daddy um his mantra failed him in that moment and he has to decide it was his mantra wrong does he have to change his life or does he keep pushing forward like, he has to reevaluate everything in his entire life because of that moment it's so fucking important um it's in my opinion it's so it's like the most crucial death in naruto I love it. it's my it's so important. It's such a good scene. I love Naruto. I could gush about Naruto Shippuden all day. It's so good, man. This one's yeah, the Sasuke Naruto ship. True. I've seen like the first I've seen up until um the what's it called arc and like up until the Chimera arc. Like up until like the best arc or some shit. In Hunter, and then I stopped like at the beginning of that arc because I was watching with a friend. One Piece. I wish I liked One Piece. I talk about One Piece a lot on my on my stream. I I, I wish I liked One Piece. Um, I'm envious of One Piece fans. I really did not like One Piece. I watched One Piece, and before all of the One Piece fans, before all of the stereotypical nerd emoji come out, uh, it gets better. Just keep watching. It gets better. I promise. I watched 280 episodes of One Piece, and I was bored to death the entire way. Um, I respect it. I get it. It's just not for me. I wish I liked it. I'm really jealous that I don't like it. Um, I love a long anime to like get attached to the characters in and like, well, you know, um, yeah. Tr good question, Pokemoki. Uh, unironically, yeah, I saw like the first one or two episodes. The live action was legitimately really good and the uh, pacing's good. It's still in a way, yes. I like, I, dude, I watched way more episodes of, of, I watch way more episodes while not liking a show than like anyone ever should. But because I wanted to stick it to the One Piece fans a little bit and say, no, I did stick it through. Like, fuck you. Like, don't tell me it. And I, the amount of times, I'm not joking. The amount of times I'll say, yeah, I watched 280 episodes. People will say, oh no, but it, it gets good at 300. It gets good at 320. Oh, but you got to get to the time skip. The fourth time skip when it really, really takes off, dude. And it's like, okay, <laughs> I'm glad you like that part. That's cool. But if, like, I'm a huge Naruto fan. If you don't like Naruto in the first 15 episodes, if you reach the, like, Haku fight and you don't like it still, you, you won't like Naruto. Like, that's 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 okay. And you can just stop watching. If you watch the, the bridge arc in Naruto and you don't like it still, you're just not going to like the whole show, probably. Like, that's pretty guaranteed. Um, One Piece is just... It's just not for me. It just felt really boring. The, one, the My issue with One Piece is that... It feels like the whole meme of One Piece 
is that Luffy is this uh, Luffy is this goofy, go lucky character who gets really serious when it's important, right? Um, he gets really serious when it's time to get serious, right? But the issue is when he gets serious, he's still so goofy. <laughs> he's never he never actually gets serious enough, in my opinion, to like make it feel impactful. So it just feels like yeah, it just feels really like a huge letdown. Every shonen, yeah, which is like which like I'm fine with, and I, the characters, the world is interesting and pretty like unique. Like that's what One Piece has going for it, but. 90% of anime, you're not wrong. But, so I agree, but One Piece does it poorly. Like, that's my, like, the issue is One Piece does it so badly, in my opinion. In my opinion. Aggressively, my opinion. Feel free to disagree. Um, I love long, I respect the short animes. I watch a lot of them, but I definitely prefer long. I want to I wanna get attached. I prefer long series. That's the point to be goofy, but the issue is he's not, he ne it's, it's, you never get the payoff. Like, One Piece is literally just edging for a thousand episodes and you never get to fucking finish. That's actually real. Like, it's, he's never, the payoff is never worth it. He's never serious enough. I've never seen a good enough fight. After 280 episodes of One Piece, I've never seen a good fight that I, that was like, oh, that was cool. And like, literally, like, almost the sword fight with a uh, Zoro and the one guy on the water, but they didn't even fucking fight. He just got shit on. Uh, Prince of Tennis is awesome. Underrated anime. Uh, yes, 100% alpha. Uh, Haikyuu. I didn't get into Haikyuu, but I, I absolutely loved, um, Kuroko no Basketball, like Kuroko no Basket. That anime is fucking awesome. Uh, but it's just, it's just the same thing as Haikyuu. <laughs> like, pretty much. Um, from what I've seen, from what I've heard. Like, uh, Kuroko's, Kuroko no, is it Kuroko no Basket? Or whatever, what's the English name? Kuroko's Basketball? That anime is awesome. I just love basketball. Yeah, Kuroko's basketball. That anime is fucking awesome. I've heard I've heard good things about. I'm sure I would like Haikyuu. I just haven't gotten into it for whatever reason. Uh, I think MHA is pretty good. I think MHA has some of the worst power creeping and pacing of any. Just not really power creep. Some of the worst pacing. Um, MHA does this weird thing. Uh, what you mean basketball? I'm a Nuggets fan, but I was a Nuggets fan before they were good. Not to be <laughs> a hipster. The only reason I'm a Nuggets fan is because of the, um, because of, I, I get all of my sports takes from video games. So like when I played NBA 2K13 with my friends, I, I liked the Nuggets on that game specifically. And that was like Ty Lawson, Wilson Chandler. I think Nene was on that team. If not, Andre Iguodala was on them at the time. Um, I loved like that era of Nuggets. Um, Jason McGee. I don't think I'm not sure if Jared Smith was on that one or I might have I know he was like I obviously know of him vaguely, but I'm not, I'm not a huge the sport I've played the most in my life is definitely basketball, but I never follow the NBA very much for whatever reason. Um I feel like the NBA is generally kind of boring to watch in my opinion. Except if you, the, the thing that makes NBA really interesting is if you care about the minute details of the sport, right? If you can watch the ball handling and like the plays being called and stuff like that, I think NBA is really cool. But like, other than that, you're really just watching guys run back and forth and, and put ball in basket. Like if you, if you don't, I feel like, I feel like if you don't understand the minute, minute details of base basketball, it's kind of boring. But I feel like, but I feel like it's a pretty casually watched sport. So I don't know. I, I don't get why some people, I, I, I don't know. And I've grown to like it. And now that I, more deeply understand ball handling and like picks and plays and stuff like that but like even then like i don't i don't get why true with most sports that's probably fair i don't know but football dude football american football is so american football is so fucking fun i don't care like it's crazy that um i don't know man american football is easily the most fun sport and, and i get why some people don't like it because like american football is like how do you explain it american football is explosive right for like 80%, maybe like 60 to 80% of American football, nothing happens. But there, in football, there's always that chance for like a Hail Mary. There's always that chance for an insane play. A big interception, a big sack, right? Uh, rugby seems fucking awesome as well, but American football is cool. They're both cool. Okay, that's what I'll say. Um, hey, how is it? Okay, wait a minute. Rugby, you don't need pads. So that's that's the actual point. But it, rugby's cool too. Um, but like, American football is so... Shut up, baby line. American football is so fucking explosive and so hype. Like, anything could happen at any time. Versus in basketball, it's like, the craziest thing that can happen in basketball is like a, th a big three, like a, a full court shot or some shit. But it's like, I, I don't know, you know? 
I mean, don't need pads. Once again, I think rugby is based. I respect it. Um, I, I think both sports are good, but I like the, the feud. Uh, yeah, I'm way more familiar with football than... Yeah, I'm very familiar with Derrick Henry. I'm way more familiar with... Even nowadays, I'm not super up to date on sports, but I'm way more familiar with... Uh, I was a diehard Ravens fan back in like 08. Once again, very different era. Never seen Wemby? What's Wemby? There's this no way it's a D's nuts joke, right? Oh, the bas the Victor... That's what came up when I typed Wemby. The basketball player? I, I haven't really seen him play. I keep seeing, like, uh, headlines with him in, like, YouTube thumbnails. I actually... I've not seen Victor... Wim Wimbanyama? Sorry if I'm butchering the name. I haven't seen him play. Um, n Not that I would even be... A Good enough to, to yeah he's seven foot four not that i do i don't i don't i love basketball i love playing basketball I, like i'm not that good i'm not bad but like yeah i i don't i don't have the skill to ad adequately analyze basketball by any means i really like it it's really fun my favorite basketball is so fun to play football is fun okay here's the real take football is so fucking fun as a kid until you put on pads I actually fucking hated, maybe I'm just a baby, I fucking hated wearing pads. I would so much rather play football without and just get injured. Maybe I would have liked rugby. Um, the, the, you're so much slower with pads. The hit you take to your speed, and then people don't talk about the vision. You're, how, un, maybe I just have fucking wide eyes, I don't know bro, but like, the amount that your vision is restricted with a helmet on in football is ridiculous. It's actually crazy how much vision you lose, in my opinion. Um, so I, okay, I like rugby, okay? I'm not trying to... Just rugby? They're way different. Rugby is more like ultimate frisbee. They're way different in terms of... Yeah. I like both, okay? Chill. I like... Fo football is really fun. I, I fucking hate... The restrictive vision of helmets is insane. And it's so damaging in football. If you're like a quarterback or a receiver, it's fucked. Or anything. Quarterback, like... Oh, man. Yeah, that's interesting. I don't I don't well, I don't know anything about hockey. Hockey's one of the sports I never got into or never watched, which I'm I'm around DC. Like the Capitals are historically ever since we've had Ovechkin, we've been pretty good. Um I've never I never really followed the I'm not a hockey fan. Dude, I have some friends who like love fucking hockey. Um I dude, I don't even know. Also insane username, dude. Um I I don't even know. I couldn't tell you, man. I like to pick heavy stuff up, put it down. I probably don't bench that much. How tall? I'm six foot four. But I was always like pretty decent at basketball because of that. And I, not just because of that. At my peak, I was a pretty good three shooter. I just played a lot. Um, I played so much basketball growing up. I don't know. I don't talk about this too much, but I don't know how many people like in stream know this right now. But I was, uh, I went to Juvie when I was 15. And like in Juvie, so much of what you do is play basketball. So like, there were like all throughout the summer it, it, during the you go to school in the in the like at a residential school there but outside of school year um even like on the weekends and stuff there's like there's two things you can do you can sit in your room for eight hours or you can play basketball and like that's it that's it so you just play so much fucking basketball um and you meet dude it's actually crazy i feel like all of the best basketball players in all of maryland were just all in juvie because it's just all you do it's, it's just so crazy um there were so many, dude, the, I've never seen better basketball players in my entire life than in, I went to like, like basketball camps, um, dude, oh my god, um, Juvie is insane for basketball players, they're all so fucking good, I met this guy Wayne, Wayne had the best ball handles I've ever seen, dog shit shooter, he, he, was, he was so bad at like, couldn't hit a layup, um, but his ball handles were crazy, and then, um, you, just had, you had so many different characters, you had Eric, there was this kid named Eric, this kid was the best three-point shooter I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, unironically, this kid, I swear to God, obviously he's playing against other kids, but he was, he probably shot like 80% from three-point, maybe like 90. It was insane. His his three-point accuracy was wild. And he was like, this kid was like five foot 10, 350 pounds, absolute behemoth. Wouldn't even jump when he shot threes. So this kid would be like flat-footed, Go up for a, just raise for a fucking three. And this kid would drain like 90%. It was unbelievable. 
He was so good. Um, it was the, it's the he's the best three point shooter I've ever seen. Huge baby, huge. That guy was a huge baby, Eric. It made a big bully. He always tried to push people around, but if he got stood up to, he'd fuck off. But um, God, he was a good three point shooter. You meet some funny people, some real personalities. Yeah, I was one of the tallest. I'm lucky that I was big. I, I do. I would have gotten picked on. I was, I was a crybaby growing up, dude. I would have gotten picked on way more growing up if I wasn't big, dude. Holy, I'm really lucky. I'm lucky I was big. Um, hundred percent, dude. There was like one kid who was bigger than me, but he was only there for like three days and he awalled and escaped, and they never caught him. <laughs> I forget what his name was. He, uh, it uh, wasn't. Um, I don't. I don't know what his name was, but he, he was only there for like three days. He was there for three days. He was probably like 6'6", 300 pounds, maybe 310. Um, and he just fucking AWOLD. General Giant type? I don't know if he... Oh, I guess I, yeah, I was. I guess I kind of was. I was. I don't know. I'm not tall enough to be... Or big enough to be General Giant, but... Um, dude, he was crazy. That guy was... He, dude, also... Okay, this is one of the craziest I've ever seen. He literally told everybody, including the staff, the night before, Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run away tomorrow. And they were like, okay, dude, they're used to it because I went to a, the place I was at was, um, there was no cage, which I was re really lucky for, really thankful for. Um, most, most juvies have a cage around them, um, to like, you know, keep you in. But mine is like open campus or whatever. So like people AWOL all the time, but they always get caught. They always get caught. Um, like always. They get caught by police and just brought back. Um, but that guy, he fucking escaped and never, I, I think the, they never came back. I've never seen it before. So many people AWOLD while I was there. And the punishment for it sucks. But he he's the only one who made it. He's only there for like three days. Uh, do you... He's still on the run? I, th I think he just... I don't know. They just gave up. They were like, fuck it. How do you lose this? Yeah, this guy was like six foot six, 310 pounds or some shit. And just escaped. <laughs> it's true. He was like 17 years old. Oh my goodness. Living in the forest. I'm pretty sure he just got hidden by one of his. Uh, there was a lot of kids in there who were there for like gang affiliation and like gang fights. Cause I was, dude. I was in fucking um. I mean, where I went was in. I don't want to say the county. I guess eh, it's whatever. Um, I was in Moco, which is uh, Montgomery County, which is the same place that uh, <laughs> Logic the rapper grew up. Um. But being in Moco, you get people from fucking... There's a lot of people from Bethesda. You get people from Baltimore, D.C. You get, like... Like, it's it's a crazy area to, like, go into a lockup for. Like, Baltimore, D.C. Like, all those areas getting put into, like, similar locations. Um, what'd you get in there for? The fucking most pussy white boy crime. I was there for truancy. <laughs> I was there because I skipped school for, like, 120 days straight. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was there for truancy. It was funny because... Okay. One of the funniest things in Juvie... Is uh no, it's totally fine, James. One of the funniest things is kids would often lie about why they're there, but in the middle of like the how do you explain this? It's like it's like a bunch of rooms, and then in the middle of the rooms is like a like a little like a little living room area, dining room, like common area, right? And there's like a staff office in the middle, right? So they can like watch everything. In the middle of that, like you can see through the glass window, you can see the um there's like a big whiteboard that uh show yeah, people from so Bethesda, Maryland is also like where the game company. Yeah, Bethesda. You know, Juvia for that. It's really uncommonly executed. It's really, really uncommonly. You'll almost never see a kid punished for truancy. It's really uncommon. But in my case, <laughs> I was. Uh, yeah. Um, what's up, Solaris? Uh, but you could see a, a whiteboard in the middle of the, in the middle of the living room where that would show like everybody's reason for being there. So like it was really funny. You would see like. I was like truancy plus recommendation by parent. That was like my official thing. And then you'd have like my boy David, who David comes in chat sometimes. He's the only sane person I met in Juvie. Swear to God. Love him to death. Um, David was there for like weed. <laughs> like that was it. Like it was maybe, maybe he like, like had too much of an amount or some shit, but he, I don't, I don't remember exactly. But like the differences was crazy. It was like me there for like truancy. David for weed and then Wayne Wayne would be like stabbings plus GTA plus gang affiliation <laughs> it's like what the fuck all of these kids are in the same 
fucking unit. It was, dude, that place was wild. It was so crazy. It was so fucking nuts. Um, it's such a crazy, such a crazy system. Um, that does, yeah, whatever. Anyways, it's fun. To, it's fun to talk about the funny things, but, but it's a crazy system. Yeah, what are you gonna do, Pokey? What are you gonna do? Uh, the Dream Monster Cantaloupe is called Green Melt. Wait, what are you talking about? What? This is a D's nest joke. <laughs> what? What is this? Isn't that a bad idea? Yeah, horribly bad. <laughs> it's, it's a horrible idea. The the variety of kids there are crazy, man. The variety of kids are crazy. There's like fights every day. Like every single day in Juvie, there's a fight. And it sucks because whenever there's a fight in Juvie, everybody has to everybody else who's not involved in the fight gets sent to their room until the fight's over. Uh, which sucks. Like the literally the worst part about lockup is how much time you spend in your room. It's it's maddening. That's like it's it's just there's nothing worse for like a developing teenager who has a lot of problems to like isolate them. That's like all Juvie is just isolating at risk teens. I let the boys be boys. Oh, there were there were boys. Free entertainment pog. Delinquent pad? Dude, I was. I was a little fucking delinquent, dude. Uh, I was a shitter. Don't don't be a shitter. I was a shitter. Listen to your fucking mom more. Listen to your... Like, if I could give one kid... Just listen to your parents more. I know it's annoying sometimes. It's just it's just so much easier than the consequences. Was? Yeah, I still am based. Um, Do a draw of my life. I would like to do... I don't know what that entails. I think it'd be cool to do like a little, a little, once I reach a hundred thousand subs, I've talked about doing like a little life story stream. Cause I have some interesting stuff to tell. Um, the main reason is like, I don't want to like come off like a fucking baby where I'm like, Oh, the, my life's so hard, blah, blah, blah. Like, no, my life's fucking awesome now. And I'm lucky as fuck to be where I'm at. Like the cool part, the thing that gets me excited about like doing a stream like that at hundred K subs is like, I had this upbringing, look at where I'm at now. And if you're like a young person, you can, like, you can make it, you will make it. I promise you. Like. Um, yeah, like that's, that's the point or reason of something like that would be to be like, I had this shit happen. It sucks. Some people have it harder, right? That's, that's another thing I constantly think about is like, I'm really lucky. I never got, I never got involved in drugs or alcohol at a young age. I never got involved with gangs. Like I'm really lucky. I avoided all that shit. It could have been, I could have been, I could have been way worse. Obviously it was bad at times, but it could have been way worse. Um, anyways, back to <laughs> Pokemon. Uh, Ozzy, I like the name, dude. Currently playing for the first time. I wonder if you could explain the appeal of you. At the moment, I don't get why to play after the stories. Um, do you like MMOs, Ozzy? I mean, that's probably what it comes down to. Is like, if you're, a, I always say, if you're a Pokemon fan, you may not like Pokemon, which is totally fine. Or you may like Pokemon only for the stories, and then you quit, which happens very often. But if you do, if you aren't an MMO player, if you don't like MMOs, if you don't like grinding, the game is probably not for you, which is totally okay. You know. That Pokemon gang, yeah, real, fuck. Team Mister, <laughs> fuck, I, I waited till I was older to get involved with games, like Team Mister, yeah, true. It's so funny. Uh, for sure, Alpha, for 100% sh Alpha, that's true. Eric was, Eric and Wayne kind of tried to be, like, push people around. Mo Dude, every, everybody in Juvie is just a scared little baby, though, for the most part. Like, every, like, all those kids. But they just try to, like, cover it up really hard. I'm <laughs> going So dumb, Tron. If you were in games? Well, wait, I okay, I know this sounds funny. Tom, do you want to know one of the only times I've ever had to break up a gang interaction was at a, at a card shop? I had a buddy, but it's funny you bring this up. I had a buddy who, um, so I met someone in a hospitalization. His name was Johnny, right? And he, he was there for uh, suicidal observation and he was a drug, he was a drug dealer. And like the only reason, gangs aren't that big of a problem in my area. Like they're overblown. It's, there's, it's, there's not really any like, it's, it's really just like territory for like drug dealers. That's all the only reason gangs really start in the first place. Um, it's, I'm pretty lucky. It's pretty, it's pretty mild to like not existent. Um, especially now it's getting way fucking, what's the word? Way nicer. Um, but. I knew a kid named Johnny, right, from a hospital hospitalization, 
and um, he saw me one time through a through a glass window at a card shop, right? And he saw me, and he came in to like dap me up and like say what's up. And I was like, "Yo, what's up?" Man? Like, how, you know, I haven't seen him, like two years. I was like, "What's up, man? Like, how are you? How are you holding up? Like, how are you doing?" And then he his eyes dart over to this other kid who's in there to play Yu-Gi-Oh, and he just heads over to this guy, fucking picks up his shirt to like show that he's strapped, and like fucking like pushes this kid into the wall like really hard and like threatens him. And I'm like, and I, I know, I don't know that other kid that well, but I know enough that I'm like, dude, like what the fuck? Like, I, I had to, I had to get over be like, Hey, like, you know, Johnny, like chill, chill, like Johnny chill, like whatever. Right. Get in between Johnny and the other, I don't know the other guy's name. Um, and be like, Oh, like, you know, he's, he's fine. He's, he's, he's fine. Johnny. And he was like, Oh, you're friends with this like fucking, you know, Efsler. Um, that's like back in that time. Right. And I was like, Oh, he's, he's, you know, I, I don't really know him too well, but like, you know, he's just chilling. He's just chilling. Like whatever. Right. Um, and then fucking, um, yeah, thankfully he left, but that was like, that was the only time I like, I like get in between like a fucking meme. Uh, what's up, Yikrit? Living your walls real. Um, sorry for the dark conversation. I mean, it's, I think it's, I think it's fun. I think it's enjoyable, but not what everybody wants to understand. But thankfully he just left and like the, after Johnny left, the other kid like started crying. Like he was obviously really scared and it was like, he was like, he was like, why the fuck are you friends with that guy? And I was like, I, I don't really know him that well. And it, dude, it was tough, man. And then, um, the shop owner was like, Worried about me. He's like, why? Why do you know that guy? And then also like, you know, thanks for getting him out. Thanks for calming it down, though. Um, I'm pretty lucky. <laughs> I'm pretty lucky. What's up, Coolbers? Could could it could have been a lot worse. That situation could have been a lot worse. Anyways, how many encounters <laughs> do you guys think the craziest? Anyways, yeah, yeah, life stories. How many encounters do you uh? Monkey cry. That, yeah, that was pretty much like I felt bad. Like that kid was just being like, that was pretty much exactly what it was like. The kid was just being tossed. It wasn't fair. I mean, he was a small kid, so it was just easy to toss around. Karibo Pat, active. <laughs> Jesus. Well, wow, I can't believe. <laughs> so dumb. Fuck, I wish. No, I think he was more... And I would not, Tron. Fuck. He, he was more like... Uh, I mean, I, I love those I love those guys. I lived with one of the owners of the card shop for a little bit. I, I love that. Fuck. That card shop, man. Card shops are fantastic, dude. Keep kids off the street. Get them entertained in a good hobby. Although they're playing Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, fucking Tabletop, Warhammer. It's expensive, but... Hey, man, if kids, if kids are spending their money on fucking cardboard, they're not spending it on drugs or other things. So, honestly... Do I imagine the gatherings? I love those goddamn. They're so good, dude. Um, yeah, for, which is fucked up, for, but for absolutely alpha, that just happens. That's all. That's, that's all bullies are. Like bullies are just like someone going for someone weaker. Um, yo, fucking let's go, Vanch. Yo, what's up, Tiago? Oh, what's your hunting? I'm going for Sudowoodo is the highest priority here. Me just for my terrible book buying habits. It could have been drugs. I have a roommate who also um, my roommate. Uh, in Maryland, she buys a shit ton of books. Every time I'm, all, she always gets like three new shipments of books when I'm there. It's awesome. Cardboard's my drug. I respect it, man. Uh, Sudowoodo is my number one priority shiny here. Number two would be uh, Mr. Mime. Number three, Brello. Number four, Scyther. Yeah. Number five, Cricket Tune. Just turn to Pokemon, dude. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Just play fucking video games, man. <laughs> Not a base. <laughs> There's no reason to, uh, yeah, real. Just have just have guild wars, clan wars. Just go PvP and RuneScape. I don't fucking know, dude. Get out that urge in a different way. Oof. Insane amount of money in lead skins. Cars is my drug. Oh yeah, cars is pretty crazy. Dangerous, but at least at that point, at least you're like dangerous for the sake of like a positive thing versus if you're like doing drugs like it's dangerous for the sake of a negative thing right at least in the long term <laughs> the rare shot yeah they should be doing shiny wars not gang wars why didn't why doesn't somebody go talk to these kids <laughs> it's so dumb oh, we, can, we can just solve this guys introduce them to shiny hunting yeah I love cardboard. I don't recommend. I no, don't recommend opening packs. I thought we. I don't know, dude. I mean, I recommend probably just do anything at a mod. I don't just in moderation. Stuff's probably fine. I don't think it's that crazy of a take nowadays. Um, but also, like, I think. 
I think drugs and alcohol can be cool if used in moderation to like what it is, it's a trade-off. There there's like there's no how do you put this? There's no positive to drugs or alcohol. It's a trade-off, right? You're you're choosing to have more happiness in a short period of time to like feel like shit in a longer period of time, which some like is, is a totally fine, like an adult decision to make. Uh but just be careful with it, right? I don't know, like I I drink and I do memes sometimes, like it's fine. Um I think it as a celebration tool is good. Or can be fun. Um I always say, yeah, it, it's not it's yes. It it, it drugs are a short term fun for long term issues. Uh what's the main thing I was gonna say? Um if you can go your life, like a lot of people do drugs and alcohol, um, but if you can live your life without either of them, with it's so much better. If you can live your life without drugs or alcohol, it's literally just optimal. You 100% should. And I would, I would aggressively encourage that. It's it's 100%. 100%. Um, yeah, that's, I also absolutely pokey. I really like that sentence. 100%. I'm not here to give some... I'm not a fucking doctor. I'm not here to give some eye-awakening take, you know? The most <laughs> just so dumb. Food over alcohol. I mean, it it does. As someone who grew up like I grew up with, like my mom like didn't like my I grew up like not around drugs or alcohol like at all. Uh, my brother got into drugs like later on, but like I didn't. I, I wasn't really around it, right? Um, and as someone who wasn't, it wasn't normalized to see that alcohol is legal and weed isn't is pretty fucking insane. Um, it it depends per person. Some people are affected by one more than the other. Um, and they have like positives and negatives, but it is pretty crazy that one's legal and the other isn't. I, I truly don't. That is pretty nuts. Uh, outside of sort of a strange, it depends the person. Like I'm going to, I'm going to be totally honest. IRS when I, when I drink in a social setting, I actually am way more likely to cause problems. I'm more likely to get too drunk and be annoying. I never do anything too bad, thankfully, but like. I, I'm prone to being a little too loud, being a little... I get too excited when I'm too drunk, right? That can be annoying. I haven't done anything too bad, thankfully, yet. But, like, in a social setting, I'm likely to have problems. I've never had a problem. If, I, if I'm if i at home alone and I, had, I worked really hard that day and I want to get fucking plastered and just relax, I've never had a problem. I've literally, like, never done anything wrong while drunk at home alone, but I have had problems in, in social situations. So, like, it really, really just depends on the person. It really depends on the person. Um, and then even even that, like, if I think that's gonna be person dependent, Dimitri. But I totally get where you're coming from. Um, yeah, it's just super important. Um, I would I would get. Yeah, I'm not a doctor. Maybe I'm dumb. I I would bet that weed does the same or that alcohol does the same thing. But maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. Uh, dude, I I met a couple men who have that problem, Clarko, and I <laughs> I get it, dude. I get it. Um, no, yeah, MG2 fair fair. I, I definitely think that, like. I think alcohol and drugs, if you if you could stay away from them until you're 25, obviously the drinking age is 21, and a lot of people do it younger, you definitely shouldn't, I, you def, there's like no excuse, you should not be drinking or doing drugs below at least 20, below the age, like there's no, like that's not even up for, I don't think it's, maybe I'm wrong, maybe that's too hot of a take, I don't, you fucking shouldn't dude, I, it's just not, it's gonna fuck you up, it hurts you so much, um, I waited until I was 22 to start drinking, and I kind of wish I waited longer. Maybe that was fine. I don't know, though. It's it's tough because when you're younger, you process it way better, which is nice. Even like 22 to 25 now. Um, stream is too serious today. Stream is very serious today. Fuck. <laughs> cringe. Ah, oh, cringe stream. Ah, oh, go back to these nuts jokes. <laughs> it's real. Fucking fair. I was really uh, healthier than it was old if you're 25 my opinion. Yeah, fair enough. I, once again, I, I don't fucking, I'm not, yeah. If you're in med school, you already have like 2000% more education than me. So it's like, I try really hard to aggressively advocate. If I'm talking out of my depth or if I don't, I really try to say it. So I hope I make that really clear. Um, I appreciate your input on it, MG2. Uh, the new, yes, the new rerun team is fully leveled, which is nice. Ligma nuts. Nice try, Whirl Island MMO. Ligma balls. 10 minutes. 10 minutes for failed these nuts jokes. Are you younger? Yeah. They're not, Sue's still not really interested. Dude, yeah, like that's, dude, I, I had no interest. I had no desire to do drugs or alcohol, which I think it seems to be kind of rare, uh, which is really good. I, dude, it's, 
and if you dude I, yeah just if you yeah if you can avoid your whole life without it i recommend it i think it, I think it is like you can get you can just get those mind opening experiences through different ways through different methods uh this is a hundred percent gonna be a rick roll and if it is missed i can't even time you out because you're a fucking mod yeah fuck you i i not even gonna let it play for a single pico second and i called it plus plus heck you missed plus got him um god damn it alpha Maybe that's why I'm such a fucking lightweight, though, dude. Like, my mom, my mom never drank. I, she would drink, like... I think the most I ever saw my mom drink was, like, two Bud Lights in a night. No, not... No, no, not... She drank Coors Light, not Bud Light. My mom would have, which was, like, 4.2 ABV. She had, like, two Coors Light in a night once, and that was, that was the most crunk I ever saw Mama, Mama Petrowski get. So funny. Which, which is... I'm, which I'm, I'm lucky. It's a good thing. Your mom drinks? Not really. That's what I'm saying. Like, not really. That's what I'm saying. I was, I'm saying I'm talking about, I'm really lucky. I, I didn't grow up in like a household with drugs or alcohol. With drugs or alcohol. I think it worked out well. Yeah, and that's really good to be a dude. Hell yeah, Cody. I like that, man. What's the Evo of a a, hint, a hunter? Like a what's like the evolution of a? What do you mean, a hunter? Yeah, the JW tree, uh, shiny aerodactyl, dude. It's so good. Yeah, I respect it, Chuckle, dude. More power to you, man. I'm a, I'm a turbo lightweight, which I like. Evolution of Haunter. Then gargle these nuts. Nice try. <laughs> See you in 10 minutes, Tiago. Ah, you forced it. You forced it too hard. You forced it, mate. You can't force the these nuts jokes. They've got to come now. You got to flow. Oh, yeah, Pat. What's up, Mist? Mr. Reno. Dude, yes, um, dude. The Pokemon scene is much older, which I love. I think I think we have a pretty good community. We have a very overall, we have a very good community. Just for Ganto E4, I have a video called like Top Three Tips to Help You Beat the Elite Four, which covers some of them. Um, but if you have any more questions beyond that, let me know. One million percent drinking and alcohol, all, all that stuff is all culture, hundred percent Ozzy. Whether it's like it's it's just all normalization, hundred percent. Um. Puzzle for 24 offshore rotations. Oh, I, I appreciate it. I'm not. I appreciate the. Is this a D's nuts joke? I appreciate the offer, but I'm I'm chilling. But it's cool to know. I, I wouldn't even have known. That's what I'm too, Tom. Yeah, I wouldn't even have fucking known that. It's unheard of. Yeah. It's crazy. Like, alcoholism definitely just seems to be like, more accepted in a lot of like European. Like, especially like a, I have like a friend from, uh, from like Scotland. Like, Scotland seems crazy. It's Scottish and Irish. They just drink so much. It's crazy. And some of it's like all good fun. They but like a lot of it's because they're just fucking depressed. <laughs> you know, like it's, it's a little scary at the same time. But I don't know. Scottish people are also the funniest people by far. I don't know if I have any. I don't. I don't know if I have any Scottish viewers or if I'm just blazing. Um, dude, Scottish people are funny as fuck. And I wonder if it's. I bet it's because they're also depressed. <laughs> like it's depression historically makes you funny. That's the look at Robin Williams and like all the all the different comedians, right? Like. What's the what's the quote where it's like the saddest people try to like make people the happiest because they know what it's like to be sad? It's like a Robin Williams quote or some shit. Uh, I love Scottish people, yeah, but British people are funny. True, <laughs> true, true, true. You went to college? Hell no, bro. Absolutely not. You think I'm a college boy? I'm honored, but no. Stop! You got timed out in chat. You think I went to college? <laughs> Please, I get told D, uh, Ligma jokes and D's nuts jokes for a living. Thank you, though. Uh, yeah, this guy, tried, this guy stream sniped me to say Ligma balls. That's kind of funny. Yo, congratulations, Mr. Mark. Congratulations on the shiny. What was the species, dude? Yeah, that's crazy to me, Ozzy. Like, that's, man. That's crazy. But once again, just culture. The band stream sniped you? That's kind of funny. That's so interesting, Clarko. Dude, I feel like... Yeah. Why never come to any videos? I'm just uh, holding on to them. 
to stock up for fun. Like right, like these guys right now. These are failed or these are failed listings I'm using for storage. These ones, sorry, specifically. As opposed to store them in my PC or mail. Uh, I just look quick. I found an answer for which one? Time to do ocean. Can the final two in the horde successfully use an ally switch? Ooh. Um. I believe so. What level are they? It depends on the level and what moves they learn. I believe if they if they have the move, I, this is a great question, Zamper. Good on you for. Good on you for be, being trying to be prepared. I'm gonna have to type up your name as instead of Duosion. <laughs> Sometimes I do that. I'm not, I'll like have the viewer name on the mind instead of the Pokemon. Um. If they have it, I, I think yes. I think, um, yeah, I believe so. And then the question becomes like, how do you play around that? Do you like, do you taunt? You probably bring taunt, right? And just taunt both of them. So yeah, against Duosion, you would clear. Can they ally switch in a, in a times five battle or does it just fail? Best way to try it, yes. The, I would test it. What I would do is I, I would on a duosion. I would I would test it, man. I would do test runs. Yes, I, I would do test runs. I would exactly, yeah. Missed his. You should do this for like every shiny hunt, in my opinion. Um, for every shiny hunt, you should like do a normal, do a couple if you're not sure. Like do a normal horde. Designate one of them to be the quote unquote like fake shiny for the test. It's kind of like a job interview. You like te you know you like <laughs> do a quick test or whatever. Um, did you get time? No, did you get timed out for a D's nuts joke? Wait, what's up, Caps Lock? Why are you? <laughs> Wait, what'd you get banned for, Caps? You're probably timed out, right, for a D's nuts joke or something? You just fucking tank the tank the timeout then. No, it's not a perm. Or what happened? You have to be yeah, just fucking, just fucking no. Let, I'm not unbanned. Do you know? Okay, I do you know what I'd have to do? I'd have to go into my. Do you know how hard that would be? Just tank the timeout, man. It's like a ten minute timeout. It's actually like wildly hard to unban people on, um... <laughs> Fuck! Who did- was that missed? Fuck, that's funny. Um, yeah, just- just- just wait. Yeah, if you- if you fucking tell a D's nuts joke and you fail it, you can't avoid the timeout by switching chats. You gotta- yeah, you gotta- you gotta- if you're gonna- you know, if you're gonna do the crime, you gotta do the time. For D's nuts jokes. Real. If you're gonna do D's time, <laughs> so dumb. If you're gonna do a D's crime, you have to do the, the the D's time. There you go. Yeah, he's gonna come in game. Fuck. Serve your sentence, criminal. <laughs> it's so harsh for a. That's so funny. It's so harsh for a D's nuts joke. It's so good. The ban here. Oh, wait, did I... Oh, wait, did I misread? Oh, oh, Caps Lock, you're so based. I don't know. Dude, I just have... the. This is why I think I went to college. <laughs> Hell no. Um, I just misread shit like that all the time. Yeah, he was trying to... I see what you're saying. Sorry about that, Caps Lock. Uh, thanks for thanks for completing his wish, Mist. This is going to be a D's nuts. D's are nuts in your mouth? Shut up, Clarko. Get out of here. I want to switch to Twitch. I respect it. All right, with this encounter, it should put me at 44,144 encounters. So I think it's going to be a good place to call it today. Kind of a shorter stream today, two hours and two hours and 40 minutes. Uh, kind of a shorter stream today, but I'm just feeling kind of chilling. So hopefully you guys still enjoyed it. Hopefully it was fun. Hopefully it was good entertaining background content or helpful while you played Pokemon. Uh, and make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Dislike if not. Uh, subscribe to the channel for daily Pokemon videos. Follow the Twitch for streams Monday through Thursday at 12 p.m. ET. Discord's down below for updates on all of my content. And if you want to go above and beyond and support the channel, YouTube memberships, Twitch Primes, and Twitch subs, uh, and PayPal such film donations, all of that is super helpful. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. I'll see you later. Peace, Areno.
I'm gonna raid someone on Twitch as well. And then quick shout out, I'm not, I'm no longer sponsored. Um, but if you guys do want to buy some factor, I do have links down below Twitch and YouTube. Um, I'm no longer sponsored to say this, but I do, I still get a, a really nice commission. If, if you guys want to buy factor, if you're already going to do it, do it through my link. It helps me out like tremendously. Um, if you're going to, if you're, if you like plan to donate to me, if the donation amount is similar to what factor would cost you, I would, I would wink, wink. I would shoot the factor uh, to get yourself some food and then also support me. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to, um, I'm going to raid someone on Twitch. Who's live. Yeah. We're going to end the Gamba. The doubters. Oh, did someone end it? Someone do it. Thank you. Thank you. We got moderators, boys. Give it paid out. I appreciate it, dude. Who is live? Let's see. Uh, do, do, do Max or Sam. Lolocha. Uh, Lolocha is playing Pokemon. Let's raid Lolocha. All right. I love you guys. Have a great day. I'll see you later. Peace, Arena.